Yo, yo, yo! What is up, everybody? Hermit Style Podcast is back, baby! Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. What's up, everybody? What up, what up? It's me, Mario. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're back. It's been a long, long time since I've had the podcast going. We've got a lot to talk about. We've got a lot to share. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to be back. And I had to bring on the homies for our first episode to kick off the new year, new season. We've got Mike. Yeah, I'm here. And we've got Trev. Yes, sir. Uh, Trev, you can check him out. Broken TCG. He's been popping off on the YouTubes. There's uh, nowhere to check me out at, but it's all good. Right Check here. me out on Facebook. Right here? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, but yeah, so podcast is officially back. Uh, I'm going to be doing at least two shows a month. going to ease my way back in, and then I'm hoping to get back to a weekly thing going on. So we'll see. But, you know, start, start a little easier this time. Two shows a month. Cover all the same things like we used to. I've got a lot of dope guests I'm lining up, so... Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So if you're still here, you're still listening. Thank you. I appreciate you for, for sticking it out here. Still being part of Hermit Style. Uh, but yeah, let's... Uh, well, all right, before we, before we jump into it, we got to talk about like what we've been up to because some people have not heard from us in like six months, seven yeah. months, eight months. It's been a while. That's true. It's been a while. It's been a while. My, long is for you, Mike. And you're, you're a fan favorite. So tell, tell the people what you've been up to. Uh... Playing that World of Warcraft Dragonfly, man. <laughs> that Marvel Snap, man. You know, Marvel Snap, best TCG game out there, you know? Yeah, this is actually all Marvel Snap podcast. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I got to plug them in, though, you know? That's a good game. If you, hey, I'm just, telling, I'm just saying, I told you about it first. Yeah, Jim did. He put me on. I didn't listen. And I said, you know, I got on one day Sunday at Locals. I was playing. He whooped everybody up real quick. Pulled it out. I said, damn, this is a good game. Eas- easily better than Hearthstone. Uh, so I liked it a lot. It's so good. I think I saw like a trailer or, or gameplay of it, and I was like, "Yo, it looks dope." I'm not like a big cell phone like video game type person, but uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I've never played. Cell phone. <laughs> no, I've never yeah, played yeah, a game yeah, on my geez. cell phone until now, and I'm like, "Damn, man, my phone battery died." I'm thinking about buying an iPad just for playing Marvel Snap at this point. <laughs> but uh, I'm on my computer, dude. I put, yeah, I'm not putting it on my computer. That's crazy. People dude. on the Discord see Mike. Uh, up in the Discord channel, I start hopping like, oh, what's Mike uh, playing DBS? Yeah, no, Mike's playing that Dragon Flight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> out here playing that, playing that uh, hunter, gotta shoot him. Uh, pow, 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 you know? <laughs> but uh, it's still teaching. Um, just just living. Uh, had a bad Nats, so, you know, that sucked. But I'll, I'll try to bounce back this year. But at the same time, um, I don't know. I, I want to play less DBS. Not because anything wrong with the game. But I really want to get more into That's like, cap. huh? That's cap. No, 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 I really do want to play less. Like I, I want to get, I want to get. Yeah, more. but you, you, come on now. There is things wrong with the game. Oh yeah, for sure. Right? But that's not the, that's not why though. Okay. The, the reason why is not. I mean, I've played lots of shitty formats of DBS. That's whatever. It just sucks that I don't like the format. But um, no, I want to get heavier into WoW. I want to start streaming WoW once I get nasty. Uh, yeah, I watch your streams. Yeah, that's the same. Like, I like, I'm trying, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get nasty a while so I can stream it. And I'm like, I want to do that, but you can't. It's really hard to do multiple things with the amount of time we're given in a day. Twenty four yeah, hours just isn't enough. So very fair. That's uh, that's part of why the podcast yeah. has not been here. So I'm like, you know, to, to do that, I gotta get better at WoW, and then I gotta start streaming so people can watch me. Cause I think I would be hilarious for people to watch. That's like the thing. I, I'm like, I've told you before. Yeah, Charles been telling me for years, and then like <laughs> I'd be in class teaching the kids, be geeking, and kids love Twitch. Kids are always on Twitch, so I'm like, if the kids are laughing at stuff I'm saying, just like when I'm making fun of history, I go imagine when I'm like just being myself <laughs> playing a game. I like you know, so I want to give it a shot. I want to see. That's that's my thing for 2023. All right, all right. But I still be at regional stuff. I just want to play less casually. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, what about you, Trevor? What you got going on? Uh, same. Yeah. Uh, working and uh, you know doing a YouTube thing. Channel, channel's been doing good. Uh, channel, yeah, the channel's been good. Um, it's just the scheduling part that we were just talking about. Um, how many hours in a day? Mm-hmm. Get off work, but you want to. Oh, that's a grind. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping that they like change how hours work and they just add. Oh, like, we need to go to like European style of work. Yeah, we need four day work weeks, less hours in the day. Yeah, bro. Is that a thing? Really? Yeah, you're doing yeah. four days a week. They have time scheduled in for naps. You just like you just get nap time. That's crazy. <laughs> You know how productive I've ever had a nap time? Oh my god. A designated nap time? I don't think I take a nap, but I, I definitely just Oh, I go. take that nap so I can get up all night? Oh, man. I know, I know you would. They're, they're, Mike might fall asleep on the show. We'll see. No, nah, I'm good right now. I got this broken toilet situation at the house or clogged toilet, whatever it is. I'm freaking out mentally. It's a shitty situation. Yeah, that's how I was summing that up. That was good. They say we need a symbol for that one. Uh, man, but yeah, I've been. Uh, Life's been crazy for me, man. We got me and Bree got married. Yeah, uh, got married congratulations. A couple months ago. Thank you, thank you. Yep. So that was obviously a lot, a lot of time, a lot of planning with that. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. Life's just been busy. Got a new job. Yeah, Jim, uh, Jim met the rat down in Disney, and you know, yeah. life change. Got busy. Yep, that's that's how it works, I guess. Mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, it was it was it was actually dope. It was an amazing experience. We got married in Disney, so that was that was really really cool. I might talk about that later, but this is a Dragon Ball podcast, so... Uh, Before we get Dragon Ball, who's the superior rat? Chuck E. Cheese or Mickey Mouse? Oh, Mickey Mouse, bro. You think Mickey Mouse would beat Chuck E. Cheese up if they got yes. a fight? Yes, absolutely. I mean, he's in Kenny Parks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run some Sims on this Bro, one, like, but... think about how much more endurance Mickey must have. He For, for one, right? He's only in these hot-ass places. That's right? true. He's going to be outside all day. His yeah. stamina... Gotta got be more than Chucky. Have you seen Chuck E. Cheese though? That guy is terrifying. Yeah, he looks like he's on crack. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, he's <laughs> terrifying. Uh, it's like a. They like remodeled him like it was like, like an actual kid now, right? Yeah, no, it's no, a crack no, it. They no, he's been remodeled crack since it. then, bro. Chuck E. Cheese has been remodeled so many. The current Chuck E. Cheese really does like he does crack. Like, yes. If you told me. It's crazy. He's got like raggedy teeth. He's all fuzzed out. You're like, yo, what do you got going on? I took MJ there to see him. With Hakeem and his daughter. I said never again. And I said, yeah, I'm not going back to this place. This rack is crazy. <laughs> I'm out. But we can get to the DBS. Though. I'm just curious. Just thinking about it. Cross my mind. Plus, Mickey's got magic. That's true. That's true. Like, but the yeah. rest, but Chuck E. Cheese got crack. <laughs> like, All right, but well, I'm just saying, like, if you're playing, like, Ellen Ring and the rats come in the sewer, the rats are dying every time. That's true. Dying. That's true. That's true. That's true. But, yeah, and especially if I'm a spellcaster, I'm just sit back and just blast him. Look, man, the, you might be right. I don't know, man. But he oh, he, know, he man. looks like he's been on the streets in New York. Let today. us know what you think. Yeah, tune in. Let us know. Put Do in, a comment. I would say a comment, but it's a podcast, so you don't really need a comment thing. Come in the Discord. Yeah. Tell us yeah. who would win. Chucky or, or Mickey. Chucky. Yeah. Mm. It's a good, good question. Good question. Much more, much more interesting than the rest of what we'll talk about. So. <laughs> Um, all right, but yeah, on the show today, we're going to go over some news, just what's been going on lately. Uh, our main topic, just a year in review, you know, we're going to talk about the good. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't as much as that as we were, as we were talking about. We were like, we, were, we had to go out of our way to find the good, though. Yeah. We, had, we made a valiant effort. But when you dig for something, you normally find the good gold, they say. Yeah, you, you also find a lot more shit. <laughs> <laughs> We don't find one good thing, but oh yeah, then they messed up these other five things. Hey, yeah, the bad stuff is hilarious though. Like actually, it is funny. Yeah. yeah, it'll be an entertaining episode for sure. And then we're playing a game for the first time on the public podcast for anyone who's listening who's a patron. Uh, you heard it in the Patreon live stream and podcast this month. People, Mike and Trevor don't know about it yet. Yeah, they we have no idea. It's blind. I, I'm down with the blind. Trevor hates blind, so we'll see how it goes. But you know, it's gonna go though. But the game's called Deer Shenron. And that's all they know right now. But it is strictly a game for podcasts. And it was a hit, bro. Like, everyone has loved this game so far. So I think you guys will like it. I put a lot of effort into it, believe it or not. I put more effort into this game than anything else I prepared for this show. I believe it. So you guys definitely do not want to miss the game. You might want to call it Dear Kaido, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. I'm joking. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We're now a One Piece Marvel Snap show. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, after that, we're going to hit Monaco's delivery service, answer your questions as always, go over some shout outs, all that good stuff. But yeah, let's let's jump into the news. All right, so just kind of wrapping up some things that have come out over the past few weeks. Judge Program is finally back, although it was, there's only ever there once. Yeah, it was, <laughs> and then it was just gone for five years. Yeah, it was. 
I don't even know what it was the first time. I don't even know how they got in judges. I think it's just friends of the current judges, and they just, no, the, we need help. You can no, I really think it was, hey, you sounded like you knew what you were talking about on that post. <laughs> you ever judged before? <laughs> <laughs> They're finding people on untap. <laughs> They're like, hey, man, this guy is wild. Are you Dragon Fist 75? Mm hmm. It had to be that, though. <laughs> I'm offended they never asked me to be a judge. You know, I like I hate to break it to you, I don't. I don't think they're ever gonna. Break hey, bro, if I was a judge in terms of run so smooth, oh, it would be hilarious. I would yeah. love to see you. People getting DQ'd instantly. Oh, <laughs> DQ'd. <laughs> so if someone asked Mike for a uh, for a ruling, you'd be like, "Why are you asking me to?" <laughs> <laughs> like, if the question's dumb, I'm letting you know <laughs> it's dumb. So that's a dumb question. But, but you know what, though, honestly, that's what you need. Like, the, you can't <laughs> call the players. When you start calling people. That's when the cheaters show up and take advantage. But if you came out and the cheaters saw me call this guy a dumbass, <laughs> I bet he don't try it. And he saw me DQ this guy for slow play, he's like, shit, I'm going to get DQ because I'm doing far more than slow playing. You guys got to come to our locals. This is, uh, <laughs> I need to come to our locals. <laughs> yeah. The return of Jim at locals would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. See all the One Piece players we got there. <laughs> Um, all right. So yeah, just for back, you want to, if you want to join, there's a Discord that they made that you can join, and then there's some tests you can take. I honestly don't know much about it, but uh, it is open. It is there. You can sign up. Well, I know about this test. Yeah. What do you? What is? Is it Mike approved? I I heard the questions because you know somebody had two Discords going while, and I was listening to it. Like yeah, I was just curious. Like let me listen. Yeah. They didn't cheat or nothing. They didn't ask for no help. Obviously, mm -hmm. I just wanted to hear the questions like what they were. Um, it was pretty cool. To be honest with you, I thought these are good questions. They are questions that I felt like you needed to know. So I, I think the test is good. Um, okay. But I would like to have more questions. As someone who reads the rulebook, every time they release a new version of the rulebook and a new set comes out, I think that it should have been like maybe 15 more questions. That would have, that would have been a little bit better. You're gonna, we're going to yeah. get some stinkers that sneak in. So. Yeah, but it's all. Good. You think it's better than the last one? Oh yeah, the last one's fake. The last one was did you answer that question right on the post or not? Like it's definitely better. <laughs> okay, all right. So yeah, so for all those aspiring judges out there, uh, you can hit that up. Uh, and then we've got Zenkai Cup. Oh uh, yeah. We've got so three Zenkai Cup events. Uh, we've got PPG on January twenty eighth, and then that's webcam. Play TCG on February fifth. That's also webcam. And then again on February nineteenth. That's not webcam. That one is in person at Level Up Game Expos, and uh, that one sounds miserable. I mean, if you go, shout out to you, but there's no shot I'm playing a Zenkai Cup in the city of Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm just going to go enjoy Las Vegas. <laughs> if I'm in Las Vegas, is, it, the pricing better be amazing, and Zenkai Cup pricing just, while they did update it, it's pretty good. It's, it's, all, it's updated for first place. It, yeah, yeah. So like, if it's 256 of you, this is That's amazing. A lot of people. This is amazing for the one person, right? But that other two hundred fifty-five. All right, man. You know, like getting second place literally is like. Now, okay, so there is a post that says that second place gets a Goku. However, it doesn't say serial Goku. Yeah. It just says the name of the Goku. It says first and second place, and then it says champion gets a serial Goku. Yeah. It's very confusing. It's. Yeah, you know. That, As that, always. That's how we rely on Facebook for info instead of the actual official website. Yeah, so it's been it, updated. Yeah. Guys, it's so disorganized. Bandai, please, just, it's like... We need a hub. We, we need a essential hub that works. Yeah. I don't know if you guys knew this, but like a website for a lot of people just would not work for like over a month. I believe it. it like I was trying to get on my phone. I was not the only one to have this problem. It'd just be a blank screen or like an error 404 message. Sounds about right. This, I was like, this is crazy. I don't know why I use the word accomplished because it's a billion dollar company, right? But the people who are running things I feel like they are understaffed and they just can't keep up with everything. They're trying their best. Yeah, I, I know they are. Joku told me. They, they're definitely trying their best. But, like, their best is not good enough. It's not even that it's not good enough. It's like they need to prioritize. Right? Yeah. Like, we don't need to look fancy, but just give us simple information that we need. That could just, like, it could just be on a list. It could be on a PDF file you just upload just and put it in there. Get us the necessities. Yeah. Then make it look nicer afterwards. Right. Cause, yeah, because this is crazy. Because I'm just like, I don't know. Like, if second place is just is getting the standard second place from the Zenkai Cups in October, mm -hmm. this is not a tournament that I want to go mm -hmm. in person to. I webcam. Webcam, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. If it's in person, at least throw anybody out there. Well, Play TCG did do the uncut sheets. PPG did not. Yeah, and PPG's not doing uncut sheets. So now I got real questions, George. But you know, <laughs> they'll, they'll offset those for the DMs. But <laughs> there's some real questions. Well. Why is there an uncut sheet for one webcam and the other webcam does not have an uncut sheet? 
Maybe it's a typo. Maybe it's in his maybe. pocket. Maybe maybe it's in the ball's pocket. Who knows? You know, wherever it's at. But yeah, you know, I wanna know. I gotta edit this. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even going out happy though, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. Hey no, nah, but George is upstairs. Hey, the good it. part is, uh, for those listening, this is already edited. <laughs> the Patreon podcast never edited, it's completely wrong. <laughs> Uh, he, might get, he might give you these clips the the and <laughs> I'll get these clips one day. Um, all right. So, but yeah, you can also they have like the normal winter cars, just like the Vegeta, the Gogeta. Yeah, um, sounds like a whopping three hundred dollars in my pocket, which is ninety five Kim. I'll take three hundred. No, that's good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I I do want the Vegeta. Yeah, I, I kind of want that cell, but that's only top sixty four. So you know, I might be able to leave two minutes early. Cell? No. Oh, that's crazy. I don't have the cell. I, have, I mean, I played zeros. That's in, crazy. I played zeros in kind of culture intentionally because they told me there was only sixteen playable decks. I said, "Yeah, you got to be out of it." I, I ended up with a handful of nets. I don't know how. Nick offered me one, but I was like, "No." Nah, oh, I sold that real fast. Some guy. Oh, okay. So you had it. I had it, but yeah, that means I also sold one. Yo, dude, said ninety dollars. Oh, for, that's crazy. I said ninety dollars. I said everyone's paying forty. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's crazy. It was ninety dollars. I'll take ninety dollars. Um. All right, and then all right. So I know Mike is eager to talk about this one. Um. <laughs> we have LCQs coming. Oh yeah, I'll be there. I hope. You know. <laughs> hey, there's zero details released, but let me put you guys on for those. But there is one detail release, right? <laughs> Bandai announced it in that that Nats. There's an LCQ. That's amazing, right? I I think that's really cool that they did that. Thank you. This is for like, worlds. For worlds, yeah. For worlds of 2022 season, right? This is a great concept. That there's a last chance qualifying tournament. Um, the problem is we're less than two months out, and the only details you've given me is that it's in Las Vegas that we <laughs> But yeah, be there, where be there. <laughs> okay, during the Dragon Ball Battle Hour, they do every year, right? That's a really cool thing that they do. I actually like that a lot. So, you know, Spider Z, Legends, Doken Battle. That's all the Dragon Ball stuff that we all love, that right? Cool. Yeah. It's a dope. It's a dope oh, event. The first one in person that they've done. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is great. Well, when you go to that website for Battle Hour. It says that you know 256 people will sign up, and it says there. So are we racing 256 people to Las Vegas for <laughs> the first 256 get in, and everybody else can go like I don't know gamble, gamble their so like, away. Yeah, you can, like gamble. I, I just don't get it. It's part, of, it's part of the experience, right? Yeah, <laughs> <You're laughs> <You're all laughs> Vegas. Vegas. I'm like, this is crazy. If I have to, hey be, man, you a gambler or not? Yo. Know, the fact that people like, I saw Wong Po uh, post that he was going to be there, bro. Could you, I, this guy lives in like the Philippines or something like that. Wong Po was like, yeah, I'm trying to go, but I live halfway across the world and I got to beat 256 Americans there. Dog, you're not beating 256 Americans. <laughs> I hate to tell you, there's 256 people who play DBS in one city, you know, in California. They're just going to beat you there. There's no way. They're there, they're there Wednesday in line. And if, I had like a nightmare about this, bro, because I thought about Black Friday shopping. People were waiting outside for two or three days for a chance to spend their money to buy a TV for like six hundred dollars. We waited for like two hours outside of Atlantis yeah. to get some promo packs. Exactly. So imagine what someone what a chance they're to spend any money <laughs> to get a chance to invite worlds to win to win thousands of dollars. These people have been out there for a month before there might be somebody oh, more than thousands. Yeah, there might be somebody That's out there awesome. right now. Waiting at, at the at the convention <laughs> store. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting in. He doesn't even know. He's got proxies at every <laughs> yeah, convention you know, center. It, that's the other part. What convention center is this at? Where are the details, man? Like, we need some details, man. I, I need some details. Like, shows. like a, booking a flight to Vegas. There's no prizing. Oh, no. Yeah, they said, hey, everybody thought it was only prizing for first place. It's not. You got to watch the whole video all the way through. It's like, they say it. Uh, you know, first place gets in and they, like, they start talking. And you're like, yeah, that's it, huh? But if you go to the very end, it says there's gifts and prizes for all participants. So there is something for everybody. Like, as I guess, I guess gifts would mean promos. Prizes are like, you know, for people who make top, whatever top would be in this tournament, in their opinion, right? Right. So there is stuff. Like, I, I was a believer. It was nothing but first, but it's not when you watch the whole video. So there's definitely going to be stuff. And it might be really cool stuff. So like some battle hour stamp stuff would be really cool, right? That might sell for a lot of money. But... I didn't know because you know a Vegas last second Vegas flight is like eight hundred dollars. A Vegas flight right today is like two ninety six. I, I would like to save myself some money on this travel, <laughs> but you know we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna be there though. Come find me. I'll definitely be there. I might not be at the event because maybe I'm not in the first two hundred fifty six people, but I'll be in Vegas. You know. Um, 
All right, and then lastly for news, just you know, we've got reveals coming, right? We're in yeah. the season again. How, how are you guys feeling? <laughs> about the I was joking. These, you know, these <laughs> reveals are awful. First of all, why is New Year's Day you showing me this crappy card? That's crazy. <laughs> Second of all, why is it two cards a day? You're that's slow rolling. That's a big thing. That is crazy. They've you know, never cards? slow rolled it like this ever, and now they're slow rolling it, and I'm like, bro, two cards it's a day. It's because the set comes so far away, they're like, we don't know what to do. You know, you could, they could be spoiling the starter decks also. You got, they got stuff. There's two starter decks. The set yeah, but they, no, they have, they do not have any other content to post. That's the problem. They do. It's called LCQ details. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they, well, that's they, one day. <laughs> hey, man, the way this is going, it might be, like, it might be a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, who knows? We'll get it in tomorrow to find out. I feel like I'm playing National Treasure and I'm Nicholas Cage at this point, man. It's crazy. But, you know, they didn't. Two cards a day is just not good enough for me, but at the same time, it's troll. Yeah, it really does feel like you're trolling. Like, I why do I have to wait so long to figure? Out? I'm, we're not gonna talk about what the cards are because you can go watch, look at yourself. You want to see it? Or yeah, you know, yeah. Like, and we why? don't have like the four. We have no knowledge of what yeah. the set's gonna but be. Why did I have to see the leader card and then the card that goes with the leader many days later? <laughs> that was crazy. Like, and you're showing me cards. I'm like, yo, these cards suck. These cards suck. These cards. Oh. They still suck, but not bad. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just craziness, man. But it's cool. Kind of looks fun, though. Yeah, yeah. And the Z stat mechanic can either be really bad or really good. So I'm, I'm curious on that. All in on the Z uh, stuff, man. Hey, yeah, yeah. I hate the same kind of stuff. That's, yeah. I, I, we're into the days where I negate everything. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want me to combo. Oh, baby. Yeah. I mean, bro, I, I need some negates. Can I get it? Oh, you know what be broken? Yeah. Z battle card counterattack. Oh. Give me that. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. That'd actually be pretty hey, cool. Man, that'd be pretty dope that'd be pretty dope mm. floodgate they attack they gotta get rid of all their Z energy ooh ooh max ooh. punishment yeah, no okay alright alright uh, I think that's good for news let's, yeah. let's wrap that segment up let's jump into our main topic we're just gonna kind of go back flash to the past talk about this year the good the bad our favorite moments our least favorite moments I'll try to go monthly I think I got I think I got about a month we're gonna find out alright if you think you got it by the month, you start it. You start it, and then I'll, I'll follow All up. All right. Follow up. January, absolutely nothing. Nothing happened in January. All right. So can, can we just fast forward <laughs> to May? Because we have five no, 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 no. That's not true though. All right, February's yeah. Battle Hour. Andrew Duvall wins. Okay, true. National yeah, championship. Yeah. I mean, the world championship. Yeah, first, yeah, yeah, first yeah. world championship. First ever world championship is, is Andrew Duvall. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. We found out how much people are willing to spend on those world cards. We're like, that's a lot of money. Looking forward to next year. Yeah. So you know, congratulations to Duvall for that one. I guess I must congratulate him again by the by the end of this segment. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, that was cool. That was, that was definitely on the plus side, the positive side for it. Um, then we get to March. There's two webcams that are on the release of Realm of the Gods that weekend, Saturday and Sunday, back to back. Actually, there were two days. Trev topped yep. the first one. Yep. You know, I told Trev play that U seven deck. He did top. That was cool. Mm-hmm. I did not top because you know whatever. I just didn't really want to finish tournament because I wasn't. I dropped early. Yeah, yeah so, actually I was sick. Yeah, I dropped yeah. See, so I just wasn't feeling, so I left early. Then the next day I played, and I did top because my tiebreakers were trash. Because Kevin Zuginga didn't like how he lost to me. And I said that's <laughs> fine. I understand. I would not have liked it either. So he, that was that. So there was the two webcams. Um, I guess it's a plus, right? You know, you had you release release tournament. But it's just a net, because I don't think we should be having tournaments on release days. Like, no, we never should. It's like, silly. It was literally came out Friday, play Saturday, Sunday. I'm like, yeah. that's crazy. Stupid. You guys, you got to have money. They love to do that, though. Yeah, they do that so often. Push that product, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we go. What if it's a week later, you're still pushing the product? Like, it's yeah. Not, like... I mean, you get what does that a lot. But, but it was frustrating in March because we had those two announced. There was nothing else announced. Nothing. We're, we're so used to having the season laid out because travel is important when you're talking about regional seasons. You know what I mean? And then so, they came out with that, with the 17. Yeah. That never got to be the played. The 17, bro. They showed us the sweet 17 for Invoker. Not that I had ever played Invoker because that's despicable. <laughs> but they showed us a really cool card for it. It was like, yo, when do you get that? It said, oh, yeah, there's these two tournaments that exist <laughs> where you can get it. And you're like, where are they? Tennessee on Mother's Day weekend. What? And not even a good city of Tennessee. Goodlettsville? Hey, man. All right, hold on, though. That was fun. There was two events in March. We're already into May. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing. <laughs> there was zero in April. If, you remember, if you're a fan of me, a fan of this podcast, a fan, or just somebody who's active in D.C., 
You probably just remember that tirade of me. Yeah, I was being a menace all of April. Like there was. Where are the events? Where are the events? I said, there. This is crazy. <laughs> like I was on them every day. They were showing cards, and I was like, yeah, where's the event though? Uh, it'd be nice for you to be able to play this card somewhere. So April was was really dry. But before we then though, in Rome of the Gods, we got the God Rare. Yeah, we, we did. Get first ever God Rare. The Vegeta. Vegeta God Rare. And it's crazy it was Vegeta, not Goku, right? Because you know, you, you, it's because Goku's gonna come later. Yeah, he, he's gonna. Goku's gonna, gonna be gonna a big one. Away. It's gonna be huge. when that happens. It's gonna be huge, and I will then worry. How much longer is the game alive? Yeah. <laughs> they like, they're they're well, it stops. <laughs> they're like, ah. You know, but, I mean, you know, I might, that would be an issue, maybe. I don't know. It, it, look. Nah, nah. I'm just messing around. But For me, it'd be an issue because I'd want it, but, you know. I want all of them. I'm going to have every one. I don't have any of them. I have both. Everybody, someone in my locals has pulled it every time, and their name is not me. I'm just like, this, <laughs> this, this couldn't happen to me ever like i don't think i never win it i never win any situations you know Which you sean pulled one, right? yeah nick sean got the vegeta and then nick got the bar i think nick bought like five packs and got the bar that's yeah. crazy i said that i come in like to play some dps on a friday they're like yeah nick got the bar up what do you mean nick got the bar up <laughs> oh. i hope i buy those boxes but anyways so yeah april had nothing it was dry and they, end they, of april slash start of may yeah they had the uh the the tournament in san diego where Andrew Lopez, not Andrew Lopez, Jared Lopez. Jared Lopez, Jared Lopez wins playing Android 16, and we all started to realize Jared Lopez might be really nasty at Dragon Ball. You're like, you're like, Nats might have been a spike because this is a weird ass deck he's playing, right? Like, you know, people just didn't really get it. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. He's just nice. <laughs> he's, he's just nice, you know. And then he wins that one. That was that was crazy because it was a Sunday. Like, why are you doing tournaments on Sunday? That was weird, of course. I'm going to take that in the negative column, in my opinion, making people play on a Sunday. That's kind of outrageous. Because <laughs> if I wanted to go to it as a what East Coast player. You got to take off work on Monday. I guarantee you to take off Monday. I can't even fly out on Sunday. That's right. kind of that's kind of. But if it's on Saturday, you fly on Friday night. Yeah, fly, fly on Sunday. Sunday. Exactly. And then there was the Mother's Day Goodlettsville tournament. Okay. And why would anyone schedule that's even that's way that, worse. That's, that is worse than the Sunday San Diego like I just Mother's Day and it, this this tournament nice venue in terms of like that was a nice venue yeah where like how it was right nice spacing it was, in the mall. it was inside a mall that was kind of weird a little bit but I did like there was a food court nearby and a lot of bathrooms readily available because it's a mall but at the same time this is the first time it broke out the seventy minutes uh the seventy minutes five minute overtime. Okay, right. Yep. That was the that was the first time they did that. That's when they changed that rule. They were testing it out there. I liked it. It was cool. Carrick won that event playing Invoker. Uh, seventeen golf. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're seventeen. It's like what? <laughs> like that was the start of bad ban list for the year. Like yeah. the first the first ban list of the year was the one where they eviscerated Icarus after after uh, Deval won with it. They just say yeah, no cell surge. Icarus is not playable. Deck. <laughs> Soul Striker. Get nerfed out of this world. <laughs> that get terrible at Nat. Like, it's like I was like, hey man, I'll tire that deck anyways, but that's crazy. So I said that Gillisville one, I, I say it's in the plus column in my opinion. You know, that was good. They they tried something out and they cared. So if you can't finish Dragon Ball 70 minutes, something's wrong with you. <laughs> like you are slow playing, or your opponent's slow playing and you're not saying anything. So, something's wrong in this scenario. 70 minutes is a long time. I don't think I do anything in my life for seven minutes, <laughs> like at all. Like any one instance of a thing for seven minutes is kind of crazy. So, uh, like, yeah, my job I don't teach for seventy minutes straight. That's so. Crazy. By the time of this tournament, are we in Bandai TCG Plus era? Nope, nope. Cause I, get, I there's some issues with that which we're gonna bring up. Okay. So no, we're okay. still on BCC accounts. We're on BCC, okay. And then it's dry again. We're like, what's going on? And then, and then we're wondering, will anyone have an invite to Nats? Yeah. Other right. than the 30 people that have I felt special, though, at that point in my life. I said, yeah, I have an invite. I was like, yo, Nats might be. I'm guaranteed top 32. <laughs> it was crazy. I was like, Also oh. glad knocking that out so early in the year. Yeah, I was like, hey, man, I'm guaranteed. And I was like, it really might be 64 people at this tournament, and I'm digging it. Like, everybody's like, what? I'm like, yeah, man. And I'm sitting here like, man, I should probably play in a tournament. And then I'm like, man. And I don't think there is a tournament to play in. <laughs> Vanda was under fire about his lack of tournaments at this point during the year. And then they announced Origins, which I pray to God this year there's no Origins tournament because that's a joke. Like, Origins is the tournament where everybody thought the game was dead because there's a 28-man 
regional. They're like, only 28 people play Dragon Ball? This game's dying. Digimon's kicking our ass, winning the race, as everybody would say, right? Bro, it's a tournament. It was regional on Wednesday. On a Wednesday? Yeah. Like, a regional on a Wednesday in At June? Best. Yeah, bro. Or convention, whatever you want to call it. But like, oh, I skipped something. Uh, we got to talk about that. Oops. Okay. Rewind. Okay. There was the Dallas Fest Miami oh, Fest. Oh, yeah. Miami Fest ran by PPG? I heard it was a hell of a time. <laughs> Dallas? <laughs> Dallas Fest ran by Play TCG, who is now our current head of organized play for Dragon Ball. So I have my question marks all over this one. They ran Dallas Fest. That event. Was one of the, that is the actual single-handed worst event I've been to in my life. You, if you are a fan of this podcast, you probably heard me say that about that computer gaming science tournament in New Jersey. Yeah, this that tournament has That's nothing on the horrid event. That was, that, <laughs> I no, forgot Dallas, about that. Dallas? I forgot about that. Too. I know. That was the worst tournament I ever played it until For those now. who are newer fans or newer listeners, this is the podcast where they played outside uh, in the cold <laughs> at one point. Yo, and there was a three-hour round at one point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, wait, wait, wait. Just imagine playing, <laughs> playing a regional, right? <laughs> and you're playing next to a fence, and there's a dog there. <laughs> there's a dog there. Yo, that was crazy. Was like, but that's got this? nothing on this video. I'm going to sum it up. Trevor, correct me if I lie at any point on my explanation of this tournament. Because right, we wake up in the morning time. Let's go play some DBS, baby. We get in our, we get in our Uber. We head oh. there, right? Yeah, feeling good. Yeah. And I said, feeling good? They're like, be, they're like doors open at 9. We get there at 8 something. Like 8 28 30. Ready? Lines wrapped around the building. This is sounding all good. Now everybody's all happy because DBS is back in person. This because this is before the in person regionals, right? Yeah. Joe who's out there doing well, his thing. Well, this is the, the first year that we're like coming back. Yeah, coming back. Coming back. So, yeah, so everybody, Dallas Fest is looking like, yeah, man, this is this is the first fest because Miami was the second one, right? Yeah. So everybody's excited. We're all out there. Joe who, Evan, you know, you got all the community figures that people love. You got the villains like me out there. It's just a great time. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, if you were in the DBS community, you're like, yeah, this is great. This is going to be amazing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't get in the building until like 947. Ooh. That's crazy, right? And we were in the front of the line pretty much. So that's crazy. Term is supposed to start at 10. Term don't start at no 10. Term start at 11. Okay. It's 30 minute rounds, keep that in mind. That's, okay, so but so far, just, just to be fair, right? So far, not that uncommon for TCG events. Oh no, not not yeah. not unusual. It is poorly ran, but not unusual that you get a poorly ran start, yeah, right? Not, yeah, not unusual for things to start an hour. I mean, I remember like ARG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. There are a lot of tournaments. And this was this guy's first one, so we we're like, you know, we're giving leniency, but this is where the leniency went out the window before the tournament <laughs> even started. This is all, we're giving a lot of leniency. Man said, there's no deck. Let's take a picture of your deck. Alright. <laughs> he said if we need to if, on the on the on the ones and twos as they say says if we need to confirm your deck list, we'll just take a look at the picture. People have like ten sideboards, click click click. That click, is click. literally what everyone's head went to. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking around the room and we know the sleazy players. You know what I'm saying? And I'm spotting them. And he was like, <laughs> that's what they're doing. They're taking a picture of both you, you, you look at their album, bro. They got a whole uh, album. My deck. <laughs> I'm like, this guy's crazy. And then he announces to us, yeah, parents will be on the wall in three locations. This venue is not the biggest, but three locations is not enough spots for, you know, for people to get the rounds, start on time. That's, but sure, whatever. You know, it's, they're new. This is another new person error type thing, mm-hmm. right? Round starts. He goes, yeah, there's no slips. Just the winner come report at the booth where there's one person. This is a 268-man event, which means every round, there's one person. There is 134 people reported, and they won. Just one waiting person. in line. Yeah, it, it just, just, 134 people waiting in the line for one person to mark it. <laughs> I don't, this was not good. I promise you, this was, this was horrid. And just so you know, this is when they tried to use TCG Meister, it failed. They tried to use the backup pro client, it failed. So it's the third client, which we don't even know what this third client was. Like, there you heard it. We're like, bro, there is no third client. He's like, oh, there is. <laughs> and this is with John Patterson, if you know the judging community, who the judge is. John Patterson there is a player, not a judge at this event. So this is where it's, it gets spicy. Because John's like, what's going on? He's out here. Bashing what's going on, right? <laughs> it's like, yo, you talking shit. <laughs> it's like, damn, how did that guy? So they were playing, 
And the rounds are taking far. Hey, man, he said it's my time. Bro, it's I, my I never get to be the one that talks to shit. It's supposed to be 36 minutes worth of rounds, right? One minute for sideboarding, 30 for playing, five for overtime. Mm-hmm. Man, the first round takes over an hour. <laughs> we get to the second round, it takes over an hour. This guy goes lunch break. It's lunch break! <laughs> <laughs> he said, all right, that was a long day. It's, it's, it's <laughs> lunch break at like 12. 12 14 or 12 17 something like that and didn't tell us when we we're coming back and so it's just like uh because we were at a convention momocon so there's like food and stuff everywhere yeah, yeah, yeah. bro the round starts and people aren't even there because you know <laughs> we only have whatever it started back up at 30 30 minutes it started out with more than 30 it was like 40 something minutes i remember vividly because it was like bro this is an odd number for lunch break he said yeah i just wanted to eat that's crazy <laughs> I respect that. Yeah, I respected it, but (laughs) that's crazy. So, (laughs) you know, at this point, this tournament's going terribly south. Like, we're just like, everyone who's like played TCGs outside of Dragon Ball and even been Dragon Ball this whole time, they're just like, everyone's everyone's in a bad mood. Yeah, we're just fucking mad. (laughs) And like, we just keep playing. This guy stopped the tournament for somebody who dropped a common BMS on the floor. It's like, hey, man, if you're missing your BMS from your deck, come get it. And like this is like just not proceeding with the tournament at this point, <laughs> bro. That's a common. Just let them be missing their card. Fuck it. Like <laughs> that's their fault. Uh, I played Brian Santa's tournament for the first time. Smashed him. That was a historic moment. Uh, <laughs> highlight of my life, you know. But um, <laughs> what happened next? Oh, mm, before the break. Damn, this is even more craziness. Before the break happened, I get into it with the guy. Mm-hmm. I have this. Yeah. Oh, there was backlash of Trevor, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. It's, I don't know if you're a listener. Like you, if I <laughs> see me at a tournament, I'm, I'm, I'm cordial. I'm friendly. Whatever you want to call it, I'll talk to whoever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just that we're a crossroad jersey. I don't have to be nice to people. Like in terms of like dealing with their BS, right? So this guy is literally trying to cheat while we're playing. We're playing social reverse baby. I'm mopping him up. His boy is like picking up all his cards while we're playing, looking at them, reading them. That's DQ. That's cheating. That's yeah. cheating. And I'm letting it slide because, like, whatever, man, I'm going to win, right? Huh? They call time. There's a judge this whole time watching while all this is going That's on. That's crazy. Just literally watching. I didn't know he was a judge because his fit was terrible. He That's just, like, had a black shirt, not tucked in, blue jeans. He just looked like a bad player, to be honest with you. Like, when I had him up, I thought I'd scrub watching a good player play. That's what I thought was going on here, right? <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, we, get to that, we get to the final turn. Like, That's time around. The guy, like, the guy goes plays a boonie, which – Nuts, 2022, you're playing a boonie? Yo, you've lost your mind. But he goes, play a boonie? And I'm like, thinking to you playing, I know it has to flip, but I have cards, and I know time is coming. I have Golden Avenger in my hand. I also have a God Ceiling, right? I'm trying to think if I want to do anything right here, right? Mm-hmm. They call time, as I'm saying, as I said, thinking. And if you know me, I play fast, so thinking doesn't mean I took 30, 40 seconds, right? right. It's like I'm maybe in the four or five second range right mm-hmm. here, right? And then the judge is like, oh, you lost, because he got the tokens. I'm like, you're a judge? And like, you know, the judge, we were going back and forth, but he got people touching his car. He's wasting time in overtime. He's wasting time on the clock. And I like, the dude honestly just said, he admitted that, you know, he didn't get to the, the effect of a boonie yet. He was trying to play it, a boonie, yeah. right? So you try to say I lost because what you just want me to lose? You know what I mean? So I call the head judge over. The head judge is like, yeah, he, he, he wins. He didn't resolve the card. He didn't, you know, and then he's just talking trash. I'm like, you know, we get we get the words go back and forth. I'm like, I don't know this guy's time this guy is on, but uh <laughs> I'm not the one. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> follow it around, Trevor plays that guy's homie, and then guy tries to DQ Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't like you, you're friends with that guy Mike. <laughs> so so alright, so this is what happened. So I'm playing U seven, he's playing super seventeen, right? <laughs> and he L instantly. Bro, I'm at seven life to his one life. Right. Sounds about right. Yeah. And um, for some odd reason, I I think I try to resolve a Android Seventeen effect. Okay. And I don't know what happened. Blah blah. blah. And I looked at the top three. And I was like, oh, I wasn't supposed to. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. Blah blah. My bad. Um, mm-hmm. let's do this. Blah blah. You can look at my hand. Rip a card out. Whatever. Blah blah. This is game already. It's seven to one. Uh. Uh-huh. And he was like, no. Like, he stared at me in my eyes. He's like, no, that's not enough. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, what you mean, bro? He said, I was looking at my hand. He was, like, he was like, judge. I was like, okay. I mean, yeah, judge. You can call judge so we can mm-hmm. resolve this mm-hmm. properly. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah. And he was like, 
Um, and while he's been, well, I don't even need to look at your hand though. Like, I don't know. We were just that's the old rule for. Well, yeah, but like he, he didn't have to. He what? added a card from Android 17, but he wasn't able to. Adapt. I didn't even add it. This revealed card. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was saying, but like, if you just revealed cards. No, no, they still back. The old rule is they would take the card out your hand. That's the old no, rule. No, I, I know that's the old rule. I was saying if you revealed the cards, right? You yeah, would know what the, the card is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trevor's just being nice, overly nice. Yeah, right? wait. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, wait. Like, that's so much. Yeah. yeah that's fixable without doing any of that. Yeah. yeah. With a 100% like honest yeah. way to fix it, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. All right. He's like, Judge, blah, blah. And the judge come over, and um, he's like, and the judge was like, very reasonable. He's like, yeah, you gotta do this, this, and that. I'm like, all right, cool, everything's cool. And the guy was like, no. <laughs> he, he was like, no. He needs. I was like, where's the head judge? He he needs. There doesn't need to be a harsher ruling for this. I'm like, and he's like, go get the head judge. And the judge went he to sounds like Andre, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's just the only one he knows. And, and, no. and, now, <laughs> and now I'm like super confused. I'm like, bro, what is going on? <laughs> and, and like I look over to my left, and like the guy, I, I the guy, the, um, the round before I played him, and the guy, and we're sitting next to each other, he, and he just like, mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, did I do something to him? He's like, no. And he's like, the he whispers to me. He looks at me in the eyes like, hey. You're friends with that bald guy, right? And I was like, yeah. I was like, the bald guy. It's like, yeah. It's like last round he tried to um like fuck with my friend. He tried to, he tried to fuck with my friend. I said, no, I fuck with you. I said, no, I don't fuck with you. I'm gonna get you DQ. He literally, he literally said those words out my out his mouth. I was like, yo, this is not happening. This is like round. This is like round three. Round three. This is round three. I was like, yo, this is not. I was like. <laughs> I'm like, in my head, I was like, yo, this all is because of my head. <laughs> Bro, I'm just out doing what I'm doing, playing my games, just geeking, right? <laughs> like, because I'm an expansion guy, and I just see down the door and turn with the judge. I'm like, this is wild. He's like, head judge and everything, head judge come over, he's like, yeah, what's the, what's the problem, blah, blah. He's, and I just explained, this happened, and the guy was like, yeah, DQ him now. <laughs> and the head judge was like, no the fuck we're not. <laughs> And I believe Remington actually would say no the fuck not because Remington just heads up the actual head judge, which John Patterson was salty he wasn't a head judge, which I found out later on because he, you know, he charged too much for the guy, right? <laughs> the head judge is somebody who hasn't played DBS and Jimmy Mann was involved in DBS. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, that's Jimmy Man's ARG. Yeah, you know, Jimmy Man's ARG. So this, this is. ARG has been years. Years. <laughs> it was done at year two. Like. So he's saying, yeah, man, you ripped the random card off the hand. Yeah, that's, that's the way it works, right? He's like, like, he's like anyone playing Tri-Color Cell, bro? Yeah, bro, I fully, like, Remington was a, just this guy, like, he was nice, I liked him as a head judge, but you could tell he didn't give a fuck, yeah, and yeah. also didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> but yeah, the guy, just scoops, right. the guy just scoops up and was like, yeah, this is about a... You said he should have been DQ'd, DQ'd. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like... Just standing there, I mean, sitting there, I'm just like, yo, what is going on? I'm, 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 I'm like, we just stopped playing Dragon Ball. <laughs> but yeah, that's so, crazy. There's that. And then the illustrious point where we get into the tournament, the area, last round, you know, I'm going to deny anybody saying I had any involvement in this. And, you know, they may say Mike's lying right here on this podcast. I don't care. I had zero involvement <laughs> what went down here. So, what happened was Michael Kano, aka my boy Rivers, you know, you might know him from the Super Players. He's playing this guy in the last round. Mm-hmm. They're both hungry, complaining because this tournament went way long. Because every because 134 people have to re- yep. have to say they yep. they won. Just every round's taking over an hour mm-hmm. in a nine round tournament. This is stupid, right? That started late. The whole thing's dumb, right? So they're like, "We're hungry. We want we want to go eat." They're like, "What happens if we just don't show up to the table, both of us?" They go double game loss. Head judge, is that true? Head judge, Brewington, who doesn't know shit, it's like, yeah. He <laughs> said, hell yeah, that's hell true. Yeah, that's <laughs> hell yeah, that's true. <laughs> T.O., is that true? Is this how this works? Hell yeah, yeah. that's how this works. <laughs> <laughs> so like, don't show up. <laughs> they don't show up. They re- they're supposed to get a double game loss. They receive a double draw. <laughs> Thus fucking the whole tournament. There were two people who should have been in top cut. They did not get top cut. 
I said, that's crazy. Their names are Rohit Pasara and Russell Stelter. I feel so bad for the boys. I remember <laughs> that. I, I told both of them I felt very bad for them. Yeah, and this is the word, the term, it's, this is already like the terrible, worst term ever at this point, right? <laughs> but the T.O., I've never seen someone be so wrong, caught being wrong, not give a fuck about being wrong, then double down on the wrong. <laughs> so John calls Crystal, Crystal Proctor, the head of uh, organized play this year. She's no longer mm-hmm. the head. She's just in charge of Australia, which is, you know, that's a good job to have, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, calls her, telling her about the shit show that's going on. Russell Stelter's in here losing his mind because, you know, Russell's kind of a big name player in the game. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, no, we got to fix this. Make them two play. You know what I mean? Like, make Rivers and another guy play, right? And John Patterson on the phone, and the guy's like, who the fuck is Crystal? He's <laughs> just like, <laughs> hey, look at me. Yo, the T.O. is like, who the fuck is Crystal? And he's like, that's my show. I'm doing this. He gets on the mic. He said, there's another tournament next week. You may not like this one. You may like that one. Okay. But what I'm doing here today is we're moving forward. It's over. Everybody have a good afternoon. <laughs> well, I was on the phone. It was like some grand heist type shit. Submitted the shit. Locked it in for game two. <laughs> John Patterson, we're at the barbecue afterwards. He's like, the balls on that guy. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, he just, he just, he just doesn't care. And I'm like, yeah, clearly he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> so that fucked that whole tournament up. The next day, he's like, all right, I fucked up. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, everybody who was X two or better is getting top sixteen pricing. I'm like, that's a dumb, that's a dumb hey, for me. That that's a you know, that's, that's, that's a mistake. Yeah, that's how you correct a problem. Yeah. There were like 35 problems, but that's how you correct one of them. Yeah. And I was like, all right. So At least he did something, right? Yeah, he did something. A lot of TOs mm-hmm. did not do anything. Russell Stelter, he said, Ruhi and Russell, Russell Stelter were getting more because they had actually should have been in top cut, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, based off their their placing. And he gave Russell an attitude. And Russell, I'm not talking to you to give you an apology. <laughs> and he's like, oh, all about that. He's like, I apologize. And he's like, this shit was getting crazy between them. This is during Top Cut. And then also in this tournament, this we were watching people just cheat on Top Cut. Like, this tournament's crazy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So, yeah, that was a horrible bit. But the Miami Fest was amazing, though. George did a great job. You know, his judges did a great job. Then that's when we get to Origins. That's the 28 man event. Everybody thought the game was dead because we had the shit Dallas Fest. 28 man tournament on a Wednesday. I, I I know Gen Con is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? It's like mm-hmm. we all know that. Yo, know, starting a tournament on a Wednesday, that's actually the middle of the week. Who the fuck has those days off? And it's so it's at a convention. Everyone knows too about Gen Con. Uh, yeah. More people like to go to Gen Con over Origin. Well, yeah, you know, it's not even like you, if you're a Bandai card player, you need to be at Gen Con. Right. I don't care if you can't get even get into your event, you need to find a way to be there. Because that's where the money's to be made. Yeah, you know right, I mean? right. So like, you already know people are spending the money. They're not going to travel to every Dude, convention damn. in America. Like, it's just that is not reasonable, especially when you have like the, some conventions. You can just fly in on Friday night. Yeah. You can't fly in on Friday night for a Wednesday tournament. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the tournaments were two with Wednesday and and Sunday were the regionals. Mm. That's fucked. Like that's like, like, like hold on, man. So I need to be here Wednesday and Sunday. Yeah, that's crazy. I need five days off work. I you know I don't know how other people's work schedule work, but getting five days off is crazy. Mm-hmm. So you know that was that was slow tournament turnout, right? That was a, everybody knew you go to that. That's a free top. Oh, uh, please don't do origins again if you know you're doing doing Con, and they always do Gen Con. So just please yeah, stop doing origins. Yeah. Save that prizing for 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 Gen Con. Throw it towards that. You know. I just I I just wish we would get back to being able to just do tournaments at places that you don't have to go to a convention. We had yeah. so many conventions. This was the year of the conventions. It was mm-hmm. crazy. Like, yeah, every term was at a convention besides Tennessee. Tennessee's the only one not at a convention. Glad I went to that one. But, um, you know, then they had, you know, Philly. Went to Philly. That was great. My boy Dan- my boy Danny got the win playing my bowl with that. Oh, right. Philly, I, I went to. Yeah. Was very yeah. excited. And then... Uh, stomach did cooperate. Yeah. Jim had a bad year for the stomach. I had a very bad year with my stomach. Yeah, Apparently now traveling just... It's hard. It is very hard on my stomach. So, Philly, I did not play. I yeah. played the first round, and I was in so much pain, and I went back to the hotel after the first round. Yeah, I said, I was like, damn, Jim disappeared. But, yeah, so that was a good tournament, though. I ran by PPG. It was good. Uh, shout out to my boy Dan. He won. My Bulma deck took off. Got real popular. All right, so this was the year of Mike's decks. Oh, yeah, my decks are killing it this Mike's year. Mike's decks were insane oh, this year. Yeah, they were. How many of your decks won regionals? Uh, my decks won... 
three win. Three yeah, my next one, three regionals. Trevor's original cell deck. Uh, he played it, but it's my deck, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> first one, Tom, that, that was Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee. Trevor's list for Tennessee, that's my deck. But obviously, his cards. So, how many tops have your decks got? Oh, it's insane. <laughs> 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 I can't keep track. I had a good year. No, I, say, I was following your decks. So I was like, damn, Mike is yeah, Mike is crushing it without crushing it. Yeah, but you did. did. You got you you also yeah, I got my first real You win. got your first big win. Yep. And then I should have won one of the Gen Con events, but uh I gave the win to my boy Rios, you know, the shout out my shout out Justin. Uh I, I beat him and I just, you know, it meant more for him to win than it meant for me to win. Grant, he's won countless events, but you know, if you know Rios, he's all about winning. That's who he is. And I had to prove a point because I said at Gen Con on Saturday because it was Sunday's big event, the Emperor Death Bean Tournament, right? I said Saturday because we went to the strip club Friday night. I love the strip club. Everybody knows that. <laughs> if you ever been in an event with me, we're going to the strip club. That's how it goes. And I had a great time Friday night. I didn't want it to end. I wanted to run it back the next night. Shout out to my boy Big J, aka Jordan Markle. He was like, I'm down. I'll run it back with you. <laughs> and we're all here at Gen Con to wait, make money. Like, that's why we're here. It's to play and make money, right? I told them at dinner, I said, I don't give a fuck about this tournament on Sunday. I made enough money already here. Like, I'm nasty at DBS. I'll be fine. <laughs> and they're all like, oh, no, we're going to bed, blah, blah, blah. Man, you guys are soft. <laughs> Big J and Migo, Eden, Frank, and Ryan, they had other plans to go out with Scott somewhere that night, right? And they did, but that, that was, shit was lame. So they met us at Shook Coast, so shout out to them, too, you know what I'm saying? They came through. <laughs> So, that, so you know, we went out, out late. I, Gen Con, I woke up every day at 5.45 because I just wake up early like that, but I wasn't going to bed till 4.30, and I was high on my mind the whole time. So I actually think everybody should be ashamed because I was smashing them, you know what I'm saying? So it's like round five, I have to play Rios, and it's me and Rios playing, and then the Vols playing a guy, David Brinzo, who's playing Baby also in the event. David Brinzo beats the Vol. I'm geeked because, like... That's literally just my baby list at that point, right? <laughs> like I put a Janimba list out there with the mill stuff I talked about on Joey's thing. And he's just literally playing that type of deck list, right? I don't know if he, if he copied my, I can't, I can't say he did, I don't know. But, you know, I definitely talked about it at Tennessee afterwards. I said, I won't put the Janimba cards in my deck. And I put a list out there. So he beats the ball. I'm super happy. I'm ecstatic. And I beat Rios. And I just sit there and think about it. I say, man, that's my boy. He's got it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he went on and smashed David Brinzo like I knew he would. So... I, I, don't, I didn't win it. I would have won though. Who, who the fuck was gonna beat me in the Bay Area match? That sounds crazy. <laughs> right. And I was playing. I was. I was. That was my Super Fujita, the Super Warrior list. I'm sorry. That was fire. Yeah, I was like that. That was, I think, my favorite Bay list. Yeah, yeah bro, I'm playing Tragedy that Overground. Was nuts. There's no shot that you could ever mill me that, out. That was a nuts baby list. So I was like, yeah, I would have won that one for sure. Um, um, but yeah, that, so that was a good event. Um, and then it was just like staleness again. After Gen Con, it's like no more events, and then they announced the Almighty Gen Kai Cup. <laughs> and I'm very honest with you, that was terrible. Awful. They they like they had these regionals, Huge. but the worst part was we all got hyped for a moment because when we heard about it, right? Yeah. Then, we were like, oh, this is gonna be like celebrations. Yeah, we thought it was gonna be amazing celebration, but it was not that. I just messed up when set. Oh, Ultimate Squad comes out. There's two regionals. They're in terrible places. One's in Kansas City. Shout out to Dane Reichenbach, or however you say Dane's name. I don't mean to disrespect what I said. He wins playing SS3. Yep. He beat my boy Hakeem in Top Cut, which I was like, damn, Hakeem. But, you Hakeem. know, he, uh, Dane won with SS3. And then Mikael Grant won the second San Diego regional this year playing SS3 against uh, Patreon. Uh, not Patreon, I don't know if he's Patreon, but the Discord player, um, Andrew Trinidad. Mm -hmm. in the yep. he, he, in the he was a Patreon member. Yeah, Patreon mm -hmm. member at the time. Uh, he, he lost. I don't know about the time, but... Yeah. But regardless, I, right, right. I felt like... I like Mikel as a guy. I've met Mikel year one. Nice guy. I've played him numerous times since then at tournaments. Nice guy. A little bit of scummy, criticized play on this whole situation with his untapping and stuff like that. He didn't cheat, just slow playing, right? If that's for debate, Andrew didn't call Judge. You guys gotta let it's it die. what it is. This is what it is. He should call Judge if he felt he was being slow played. Um, but yeah, there's two regionals, SS3 wins both of them, and we're all like, this Gogeta deck is broken though. This is like, actually the nuts. And then there's like, a lower level of thought that this Sin deck is broken, and I'm telling you right now, I came in Discord right before Nats told Jimmy and everybody on Hermit's side, I said, that Sin deck is trash. Please do not play it. I know Peter, like, Peter's an amazing player. Peter made top four at Nats with it, sure. Peter also plays with Andrew Duvall and the boys, right? Like, 
that's some high level training type stuff right there, right? <laughs> like not everybody ain't playing with Andrew Duvall level caliber players to get to learn the matchups and what you need to do. On base level, Sin was weak. I knew it was weak. It's no, Sin, Sin was not weak. Sin, Sin was Sin was a fine pick. I knew what the Crimson Day ahead of time. So like I knew that I knew all the top players. Right, like if you're watching the video, you know I'm quote quote unquote if I'm doing this. <laughs> all the top players, I knew they were all on Crimson. I knew my team was on Crimson. I knew Super Players was on Crimson. I also knew that Devon were on Crimson because like we know each other's untapped names, even though we say we don't know each other. We just spy. You also tell my mannerisms, the way people move their cards, and the things that they do when you're on Untap, right? So we saw Devon playing the deck like two months before Nats. So I knew that all of them were on it. They also all played Blue decks on Friday in the side events, right? So, oh, they're playing blue, but they're not playing any of these decks in the event because you have to be crazy to play your main event deck when, right, you, right, when right. you're that big name of a yeah, player yeah. on a Friday, right? So they eliminate Gamma, uh, Reboot, Beer. You can eliminate every blue deck. That was good. What blue decks left? Oh, Crimson. They're definitely playing Crimson. We knew, you know what I mean? So like, I knowing that, I knew Sin didn't stand no chance against that deck. I knew that. Mm-hmm. I also knew that that was that was the real issue. Yeah, I was like, well, yeah, so that to me, but in the in the grand scheme of competitive card games, right? If your deck can't beat the this deck, right, it becomes a bad deck normally, right? In, in terms, it can uh, Yeah, but there wasn't it wasn't enough representation. I don't think to get to that. Yeah, point. it wasn't, but it, it, look how many top though on it though, right? Like, yeah, no, like it, I think that would mean it's a good choice, right? Yeah, but, like you definitely could have went through the day and only hey, played hey, it in your last one or two rounds. Yeah, no, that's true. And I think you're more likely to have only played it. In one of the last rounds, if yeah. you had a topping. Right? I'm looking for that topping though, baby. So yeah, you can no, be sent. You, no, yeah, you, you be sent be X two at that point, and then see that deck, and you just like. Yeah, I mean, you until you get to the later rounds, you're not real like. It, it's just variance. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, you're right. I just I had no faith. I, I don't like. I would like to know the numbers of how many crims were actually there. I don't think it was that high of a number. No, no, no. no. It, was, it was under forty. Yeah, so I'm saying like your odds of seeing it until the end of the tournament were very. Yeah, no, I, you're right. I just thought that knowing that. I said, hey, man, I'm out. And I also knew that it's Trunks Jita matchup wasn't good. Resting your cards is painful for the deck. They can't <clears throat> They can't really get around it. You had to play awkward to get around it. But playing awkward around a deck that had the Gohan Piccolo uh, SCR in the deck is rough. But regardless, right? So um, everybody was complaining, talk, complaining about Sin and Gogeta. And Bandai did this thing where they didn't make a ban list for this, for, for that set. They said, yeah, just play what you want. <laughs> and I were like, what do you mean play what you want? No ban, no, not there was a ban, but there was no new cards added. Right. They're like, we'll address it going into the next set. It wasn't very next. impactful. Yeah, it wasn't. And then the ban list they did make for for Nats was very mid. And yeah. that's, and you know, people were doing Zenkai Cups, and you can't get a real look at the game from Zenkai Cup the way they had it designed, where you could only play these Zenkai leaders that were approved, and you had to have 15 Zenkai cards in your deck. But that's just not real. No. Bad format. Yeah, bad format. So like to play a card game, which is why they got rid of it. Scrap these new Zenkai cups. You can play whatever you like, which is like everybody's excited. Much about. better, much 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 okay. better. So at least they listen to the feedback, right? Yeah, it's like, a, that is one thing I give Bandai. They do actually listen. Oh, they're the king of listening. They to do feedback. listen. Sometimes, sometimes I listen too much, and they listen to the wrong people. Yeah, I think they need to get a better grip on who to listen to. So they do. Sometimes they just react to the complaining. Yeah. But there's a reason, right, why these players aren't the developers of the game. Correct. Right? Yeah. It's, it's kind of like when people complain about a decision a big company makes, mm-hmm. but there's also a reason that those people aren't the CEO. Exactly. Like you can be as mad as you want, uh, but there's still there's always a reason. I tell my students, you know, I said there some people are going to work at McDonald's. And there's no shade in it because someone's got to fill every role in life. Someone's going to mm-hmm. work at McDonald's. Someone's going to be the manager of McDonald's, and someone's going to own the McDonald's. I don't expect the worker to understand why the owner's doing what he's doing. Mm-hmm. It just it doesn't it right. doesn't work that way, right? Yeah. You know, and the kids are like, oh, that does make sense. I say exactly. So that's why, you know, you gotta listen to the people in charge and just have faith that they have your best interest, right? Instead of just saying, oh, I know what's right. Hey, man, that's, you you don't know what's right. If you did, you'd be in this gaming industry, not participating as a right. player, but as a as a worker, right? It's good to hear all feedback, but yeah. you don't need to react to all exactly. Mm-hmm. See. So but you know they so the ban list for Nats was Sensu Bean was that was weird. I mean I get it because that red blue Gogeta deck that nobody showed anybody, but mm-hmm. all the top oh, players yeah, knew yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah, it was all like, yo, we're using this TP for Gita. Yeah, like, TP for Gita here because you tapped one for sure, and now it's game over for you. Once I it. <laughs> it was nuts. Um, I guess it, it makes sense. So I, get, I wish you would just ban Bean because like making Bean a defensive card only is just weird. What was the other card that got hit? Um, 
the hits were just irrelevant. Kind it, of. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was saying, like, Bean's the only one I remember. Yeah, Bean's the only impactful one, in my opinion. Oh, and the, um, Broly, right? Yeah. Broly Tram? Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. That one, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't play it for free no more. Yeah. That, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, a big yeah. deal. I, I'm capping. That true, was a huge deal. True. That which also oh. that punished Sin because Sin was maximized punishment. Mm-hmm. You leave that defense up, they're like, uh, use plus two on Gogeta to play this, rip your hand. Yep. When that was taken away, so you have to play it for one, that changes a lot. That um, did. And those were the two cards that mattered on the list that were like, okay, that's that's the thing that changed. And that's what everybody kind of knew, like Crimson was like the way you should play Crimson. Like, mm-hmm. best, best blue cards available, do your thing, you know? Um, then Nats. Overall, I think PPG ran a great net. It's like overall, that tournament was the longest tournament I ever participated in my life of any card game or any competitive thing ever. It was way too long. It was like, ridiculous. I get it. The player cap, it should have just been day two. Because like day two for actual participants, like the top 32 players playing was very short. So you could have just had everybody get up at 8, get there, start at 8.30, and mm-hmm. do two more rounds. You could have ended at 10. There also needed, if you're going to do it long, there actually does need to be a break. Yeah, like it needs PCG did. Not after two rounds, yeah, but, but there actually needs to be like a halfway break. Yeah. Eat. You need an actual concession stand. Yeah, that concession stand was trash. Like, it was only like, like for two hours? Yeah, like two hours right. and it closes. The pretzels were like, what, $10 or something? Oh, yeah, so hey, like, bro, I bought one and I regret it too because yeah, it was dry. Yeah, they sucked. Yeah. Um, the, bro, everything about that part of the event horribly yeah. ran. But that's not, that's not them, that's that convention, sir, but they, obviously. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, right? they like, choose that convention, so, you, you know. Not only did you choose that convention, but like, I, I don't know. There, there's a lot of alternate solutions, right? Oh, yeah. That you can provide. Yeah, you could have bought this pizza because I remember Jim bought me pizza one time. And I said, yo, <laughs> hell yeah, Jim. Capri <laughs> Suns and pizza? Sign me up, you know? That was the PPG Invitational. Not a PPG, ARG Invitational in, uh, in New Jersey. Like, you know, it was literally pizza and, and Capri Suns for us. I said, hell yeah. But, you know, there are things, there's always improvement, right? But overall, it was well ran. I mean, there's that round six glitch. But we're not going to get into it, though, because that would be, you know, too much to really talk about. But there, round six was a, was a hiccup. Mm-hmm. Messed up a tournament for a lot of people, actually. Messed it up for you? Messed it up for me. Messed it up for Jordan Markle. Messed it up for Anthony McAuliffe. Messed it up for Zoo Hair. Like, there's a lot of people that actually messed it up for, right? Yeah. But we're not going to – I'm going to just say I was X2 going into that. I shouldn't have been X2. I lost to a player that, you know, it just happens. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, is what it is. But I, I shout out George for doing a good job. Fash being an admin did a great job. Ben – Always, you know, upstanding judge. So it was cool. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, now, now everybody's got their eyes on Crimson, right? Like, at the end of the year, in, at the end of the year, it's banned Crimson. Get rid of Crimson. Like, I don't know, you know, it's... But we, what we ended up getting was a ban list that said, hey, get rid of God ceiling. And now... <laughs> <laughs> and Crimson was also just, like, the meta call. Right? Yeah, just like, the meta call. I'm not sure how good it would have been in a whole three month, four month format, right? That's what like, I mean, yeah. It's very solvable to beat, like, um, I don't want to ruin nobody's LCQ because maybe someone's still playing Crimson, right? And so I'm not going to put out the secret to beating it, right? But there's like, there are just decks and strategies you can a- apply while playing. I, just, I I encourage you to try not to play a traditional game of Dragon Ball, just mm-hmm. doing what you do when you play against it and see where it gets you. Cause you need to understand the mechanics behind how that leader itself functions. Exactly. And you can really, and learn how to stop that. Yeah, like, once you figure you that think, out. Like, just think about that. It, it should make sense, right? Exactly. And now, like, you know, or you just play the hard counter and play green. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know, because the green guy should have won the Australian Nationals. Like, he definitely should have won. Uh, yeah. Just misplayed. Yeah, misplayed, lost his composure. And that's the craziest thing I've ever seen at a tournament. Like, you know, I'm, I've never seen someone be able to walk out of a venue and walk back in and keep playing. Like, you know, you want, did, you, did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, like, so, like, during, after what happens on stream between him and the guy who wins Australian Nationals, right, mm-hmm. he gets upset, like, after game one, like, he mm-hmm. gets upset and walks out the venue. Like, walks from the table, walks out the venue. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Pissed. Oh, that's wild. And then comes back in and gets the play. Why was he mad? There was some behavior that he didn't really approve of, you know? Oh, uh, okay. And it just is what it is, you know. That, that's just gonna happen. You got thousands of dollars on the line. There's mm-hmm. gonna, it's not gonna be. Hey, you can take that back. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like that's just the reality of what it is. Like, oh yeah, that's crazy to think though, right? Yeah, and you know, but maybe he thought because judges in, in, in Dragon Ball have been so lenient, they let you take things back when it's repairable game state, right? That's mm-hmm. I've had judges allow stuff like that happen to me. So I really, you know, I don't know who's the fault, who's the blame. Is it the player A who wins the turn, player B, or is it the judges? How I don't know. You know what I mean? And like. 
Yeah. I'm glad there was no witch hunt for nobody on that one because it no, really, yeah. it really was like a situation where who's the bad guy all depends on where you, how you think, right? Right. But the fact that he was able to walk out the venue and come back in is crazy. I was like, shout out to them for allowing the first thing ever in a TCG tournament ever. So uh, <laughs> that's never happened. You get up from the table, leave the room, come back. Hey man, yeah, you lost. Like, but um. No, nah, that was cool though. They let him finish it out though. Let him try and play it out. So, uh, overall, I would, if I had to give a letter grade for the year, F. No, nah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm, I'm gonna go B minus. Oh, go, that's crazy. Go, that's way too high. No, nah, nah, nah. I would give it. The, that is above average. You think this is an above it's average? Above year? average for Dragon Ball? No, nah, I don't think so. I'm basing it off Dragon Ball. We have five years. I'm based off myself. See, see, if I based off myself, I play Magic the Gathering and all the other card games. This uh-huh. shit's an F every year. <laughs> so, like. All right, based off yourself and your experience with Dragon Ball. Okay, D plus then, because, like, it's. Uh, okay, that, that's where I'm coming from. But, like, I'm looking at where we come from with just this game to where mm-hmm. we're at. It is above average. Nah, I don't buy it. I mean, I'm like, huh? I have fun this year. I have fun. I have fun. But, so Ultimate Squad format. We were a, yeah, and that's 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 one, one of my favorite. Formats. That's one of the best formats that's ever in the game. Super fun. Yeah, and I kind of decks you can play. I like realm good. format to be honest with you. Realm format is also good. Yeah, I, like, honestly, I liked most formats. What was the first set after that? Realm. Was that realm? Okay, yeah, yeah. So realm up up until Zenkai. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Not on the organized play or the company side, but the cards but for playing, yeah. which is like that's should be like the number highest, one, yeah, n- number one, right? Like, yeah, that was fantastic. But as soon as Zenkai got introduced, I lost a lot of motivation. I hate, I hate, I personally hate Zenkai. I think Zenkai is stupid. I think it, they should have had it. You can charge one Zenkai energy from your drop, act like activate main effect, put it in there. There's no reason someone should be able to charge 20 Zenkai energy in one turn. No. And I'm not even joking. There's I think decks. they did a very poor job designing that mechanic. Yeah, like. I have charged, no joke, that you're probably like, what? I've, I've charged 16 Z energy in one turn playing Go- SS4 Gogeta. That should not be allowed. No. Like, like what do you mean? That's what, that was the Sensu Bean version of the deck, because you could extend like crazy. Yeah. But yeah. none of, why could I charge 16 Z energy in one turn? Please explain to me why it was ever a thing. So, and like, the good decks like Crimson right now, right? They're charging like four or five if they want, every yeah. time. Four or five in a turn? Why do you get to do that? I understand you want to incentivize faster gameplay, combo step stuff, but that was wrong. I don't think that was the way to do it. No, that was that was wrong. I don't think it's gonna kill the game or anything. Because there's no, some people who really no. enjoy Zenkai, right? Yeah, right. It's it's I will say it's a preference thing, right? Yeah, because like, some people hated Unisons because Unisons Unison slowed the game. Mm-hmm. I love it because I love a slow game, mm-hmm. but you know. I see, but like so, from like spoils, right? Spoils I played before yeah. Dragon Ball. So, some of those games, it was very normal for them to be like an hour plus for one game. Yeah. Like, it's just a very long, like, it could be fast, but a lot of times, it's just a very long game to play sometimes. Yeah. A lot of people don't like that. Yeah. I loved it. I love it. I felt like I was, like, a fucking general. I love before. sitting there having, having, to, like, having to take a shit guys. right and hold it while playing, yeah. see which one breaks first, my pawn or my will, you know? It's Mike, good. Mike's got this toilet on his mind. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking me up, man. Um, but, uh, you know, like, no, I, I'm just saying, I think that we've had a lot of bad years in Dragon Ball. Like, we all keep playing because we like the game, right? And there's something we liked about the year, obviously. Yeah. But this was definitely one of the very serial Serialized cards, uncut sheets. Serialized cards, God Rare, uncut yeah, sheets, sheets, all great things. I uh, agree. Uh, uh, prizes Nats for Jim Cot, uh, prizes for Nats. Right? There's all these they tricks. Fixed, uh, that's one thing I get. They fixed a lot for Nats this year compared to last year. Yeah. They did the LCQs again. They mm-hmm. had multiple events, although the side events were trash, but yeah. that's besides the point. Um, there's still something to do while you're there. There's something to do. I would like to see a little more. I would like to see some that. Bandai support, not George support. Ex- like, yeah, see, that was the issue. Bandai didn't support. If, yeah. Bro, if we had like Bandai side events going yeah, the whole time, that'd like, be dope. I wanted it to be like a big party. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I wanted it to be like this huge event where, like, if you made it, mm-hmm. it doesn't give like I don't give a fuck how you do it, Nats. It's yeah. just like yeah, you, you walk out here, baby. Yeah, like you, you want like you want to be playing all day. Yeah, like, no, I agree. Everyone at a table. I think that this was a good step towards seeing maybe they fixed it right. So like that's what I'm saying. There's like these things that I can complain for days about things, right? This is crazy. When we started this, I was like, Mike, bro, we got to come up with more positive things to say. And, I, and now we're in my, Mike's like, it's a good year. I'm like, this year sucks. It's a, good, it's, a year. it's a good year for Bandai. It's not. So hear me out, right? Like, I, you know, I don't, we're not supposed to talk about other card games because we're a DBS podcast, but like, it doesn't matter. Well, you, I'll bring up Digimon. That's their other game, right? Digimon. You know what I was thinking about? 
What? Marble snap. That's my game. I will be, as I'm plunging that toilet, I will be snapping. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, are you, oh, you know I got Thanos tattooed on me? Did you really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, I got, the, I got him with the glove, because the Marble snap's so fire, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always Thanos snapping those guys. Oh my god! I'll, if the camera's on, I'll pull it out like at the end. But uh, anyways, um, no. So like, <laughs> to me, I look at it like this, right? You go, hey, these events were not very good this year. There's mm -hmm. a lot of bad. Yep. But the things that were good, now that some people have moved positions in Bandai mm -hmm. in their place. Fastbender has moved up to, to level zero judge. Mm -hmm. He's doing admin, not actual judge no more at events. I can see this going very well now. There's a, no, there's definitely a lot of so like this. There's all all right. So here's the thing. Although I'm not happy about DBS 2022 from organized side, company side, product side. Yeah. Because also, okay, here's what I'm most salty about. I forgot to mention this. They ruined my favorite product. Oh, anniversary box. So. Anniversary yeah. box is my absolute. Favorite product yeah. they've ever done. No re no foil out on reprints. Destroyed it. This like bro, Sensu being flying nimbus. Why? Like all these amazing cards that we had from this thing, and you, all our super combos, the draw twos. They, they just why, ruined it. Why did we not get? I I just knew if you asked me to, to bet five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, you know, I'm also addicted to FanDuel lately these days. I didn't tell you about <laughs> it. But if you asked me to bet any amount of money that I like physically have on me, right, that I can just like whip out my debit card for it. I would have bet that there was all art blocker negates in anniversary box. It just makes sense. Just anything, bro. Because that's how whatever staple cards that every color has has always been like you know the all arts in anniversary box. And you just say, yeah, yeah, we're not doing that this year. What the fuck? And then on top of that, they do a premium box. And I'm that, like, oh, this is gonna save it, right? No, this thing rare. also sucks. What do you get? A play mat and all the alternate art of the same secret rares. Yeah, they which, suck. Like, the alternate arts look cool though. Like I yeah. that, like they look cool. I was happy to add them because I collect. Right? Yeah. So I was happy to add those cards to my collection. But those are unplayable SCRs at this point in the game. They're just. I was like, what is going? I don't know. And the the box. Trash. Literally, the box itself they didn't even get right. Because usually you can stack them up yeah. and make a big full art picture. Yeah, it's not like in that. my closet right there, actually along the top of the wall yeah. on the shelf, I have, I have all of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks sweet. So I was all excited. I opened the box and they even got the box wrong. Box. And then the premium one is the same box. Yeah, it's bad. I said, oh my. It's a terrible product. This is, this, oh, wait, wait, whoa, hold on. I left off the actual worst thing about Mythic Booster. Oh my God, Mythic Booster. That's the Booster. worst. That, that, oh. that was going to kill the game. Like, that's when all the talk, the game dying because stores were mad, Mythic Booster wasn't selling. Oh yeah, but they burned so many stores. They burned so many stores and players didn't want to buy it. But the problem with that though was the release date was supposed to be last October, but it drops in February mm -hmm. of this year. So like, all that talk, you know, you guys who are new to Dragon Ball listening, you probably see something on it. There's reason people are negative, right? But keep in mind, Mm -hmm. That these people have been here the whole time. No one who's in Bandai for real, like the card games that they play, no one's leaving. No. It, it was no. apparent. Nats had over 500 people. Yeah. Like, people are like, it's dead game, dead game. No, game, game is alive and well. Bro, they fired 67 LCQs. That means that there was six, 67 times there were eight people who did not have invites that were born to play. That's a lot of people who were uninvited showing up. So let's do the math. If we got 67 extra people on the 5, what, 512 it was? Mm -hmm. 512, 67. So we're at four, around 450, right? That's around the number 450, 445. Mm -hmm. That's still the biggest Nats we had today at that point, right? Oh, yeah, we, we had but, the ones confirmed, yeah. But at the same time, right, that's also, that's only 67 people from LCQs, which means 67 times 7 people didn't fucking get in. Right. Those people who That's showed, how many people came to Nats. Yeah, that's how people came to Nats. We got to add that, that 7 times 67 to it. Right. That's a lot of fucking people trying to play some Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. For a game that's dead, that don't sound dead. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Game, game is not dead. My, so, and I, well, and I guess another thing too is that at Nats they announced, which I think this is probably the last thing we wanted to talk about. All I like the digital, yeah. digital Dragon Ball. Yeah, right? I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm excited, excited for, it. for it. I'm hopeful it's gonna be good. We just don't have much information. Yeah, yet. yeah this is, lack of information is crazy. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of people who are saying that it's not gonna be the full game. Some people think it is gonna be full game. I'm reserved. I don't know. I'm not even gonna speak on it. Yeah. But what I do know, there's two things I'm gonna say about it. One. When they play that Goku card on the trailer and that animation pops up, <laughs> I swear to God, I better be able to turn off animations. I don't want to see Goku <laughs> command man every time someone plays an SR Goku uh, or any SR card. I don't want this character to keep popping up on my screen. 
that's like that's one thing Snap and Hearthstone does great. Like every time I play a card on Snap, there is animation when the card plays. But it's it, so minimal. It's, so it's just like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, it's like, that's for dog. I play with a little guy. He said, what? If I master duel, they have like the little animation, but it's, no, like, it's not even that bad. Like, you play Snap, you, you play, like Cyclops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cyclops. Cyclops. Cyclops when he has the beam. Yeah, Ant Man shrinks down Spider-Man real small. Spider Man with the web. web. Yeah, they have a little yeah, animation. Yeah, okay. I'm cool with that, but I don't need Goku. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Someone play four clay challengers, one turn on you, bro. You've got SR. <laughs> like, you know, You're also having SR spare. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. And then on top of that, I really think that it's not going to go the way they think it's going to go regardless, right? And um, what I mean by that is, one thing I've learned about Dragon Ball, it's a, it's the best card game I play besides um, Marvel vs. DC, which that's a dead game now. But that was, you know, that was the best to me. This is the second best in my opinion, right? Best thing on the market. A lot of skill involved. Mm-hmm. When people are new, and you know, maybe some new listeners are listening, they're new to game, right? Mm-hmm. You get whooped on a lot. And I'm trying to find what I say. It's just like there's so it's many. It's a long. It's, it's a long, long journey to process. understanding the game, playing against there's the players. There's a big curve. Yeah, there's a big learning curve. And that's okay because uh, you know that people want that challenge, right? They want to play games like that, right? Yeah. That's cool. But digital client wise, like. Losing the game of DBS, I've heard numerous people, I have friends at locals who like play other card games trying to get into your Dragon Ball, they stop playing because it feels so bad when you're getting like destroyed, when you don't really get the game. It's going to be the same feeling with the digital client. So now you, you got you got trying to get people to feed money into that new players, it's a bad feeling because they can't even resell that stuff. You know what I mean? Like that's They're stuck with that. So I don't think it's going to draw the player. I think what I do think it's going to do is going to hone the craft of the players you do have, having access to play more, right? Right. But your new players is not going to bring the new players like they're hoping. Like that, I I, I know. Yeah, right. And then they know it all depends on what the goals of the yeah I know I, 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 design. I know that they said they wanted new players to play. They, like a client, we think that's what they think. I know that's what that was something that was said. Mm-hmm. I don't know how high it is on their list for it, right? But I know it's something that was said. I just don't see the new players really sticking to it. Like if I'm a brand new guy at Dragon Ball, this client is way worse than me buying the cards. If I don't like the game, right? Right. You just sell the cards. You just sell the cards. I can't get this client and just sell sell my my account. My account sucks. I didn't earn any cards. I ain't been winning. You know what I mean? So it's a fair point. It's yeah, a fair so point. I, I that's. But I think it's going to be a great client. I just don't think it's going to do like what Pokemon's online client does for Pokemon. Sure. Someone buys a Pokemon pack, they get a pack, they go, they they learn to play, and it doesn't even feel bad because Pokemon is a game that's hard to feel bad while playing. You look like cute little mons. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's more deck building. Yeah. Right? But DBS is like very intuitive. It's deck building. Uh, knowledge sequencing it's, it's so much at one time there's a lot of different uh, skills and different things that you have to put into application yeah, yeah. so it's, it's tough to see that on a digital client or someone sticking to it but we'll see though obviously you know um, yeah I'm so, excited for, for the content creation so. oh yeah turn will be streaming all uh, day baby yeah. that's a, that's no, but see that's huge though because that can be a lot more exposure for yeah the game I, well. I definitely think it gets to switch and stuff like that going. yeah so that that is definitely huge, and that's a big step in the right direction. So I think overall, that's that's a very good thing, very positive thing. Yeah. There were huge tears at that. So everyone was obviously very excited. Oh hell yeah! You, you, I saw tears on something. <laughs> like tears. Finally, tears. I said, <laughs> that's crazy. But I'm glad you happy like that. And I guess I got to shout out Andrew Duvall for winning that. My boy Chris yep. got second. I wish he would have got it. No disrespect to Andrew when I say that. But yep, you know, yep. shout out Andrew for being the first TCG player in North America to ever win back-to-back nationals in any card game. <laughs> Sky's made Nats history. Nats World's Nats. Yeah, like this, this guy's a monster, clearly, you know? Yeah, no, it's crazy. It's crazy. Kudos to him. Um, any, anything else about our year review you guys want to hit? Mm, I don't know. I, no. Oh, the commentary was good this year. We got some new commentary on Gene Carlo. Yeah, shout out to John. Yeah, shout out, yeah, shout out to him. Dane was when he was with Dane. It was good mm-hmm. with him. Dane was mm-hmm. good. Um, I think that's really important too. That yeah, we have, that we have really good commentators. Yeah, no, I think uh, it is important because it makes it more enjoyable to watch. Because when you got those people who suck, Ban- and may I please like compensate them so they want to keep doing it because yeah. I think that's been a big problem too is like people commentate and it's so much effort right yeah. like mm-hmm. that's a long day yo like, Danny was Danny got up left for the venue on on was it Sunday yeah, on Sunday got up left for the venue at 6 didn't get out of there until 10 you were yeah, up like, a long please, time please compensate these guys well because that is really important especially like you bring in this digital client right mm-hmm. you're trying to get more mainstream you're yeah. trying to bring more online exposure where like people are streaming and watching what you guys are doing you need to have good entertaining commentators. Mm-hmm. So, 
I think that's really important. That's that's a good point. We did uh, we did have that. Um, oh, and the only other thing I, I think I want to talk about that we missed was we also got the silver Goku Frieza. Oh Frieza. yeah, that was cool for the collectors. Mm-hmm. I I didn't like how Bandai threatened to terrible ban people who sold their raffle winning. Idiotic. Yeah, like you can't stop that. Like that's. No. At that point, what they think they're doing the right thing by making it fair, but they're punishing the consumer. Yeah. Like, I'm a very honest, I collect shoes. Jim collects shoes, actually. We both have very nice shoe collections. Mm-hmm. Bro, people get these shoes all the time. Actually, we were at uh, two, shoe places two, sh- two shoe places before yeah. we recorded the podcast. But, like, people have bots. You know, I get beat by bots on drops every time, bro. I couldn't it's imagine. It's part of the game. Yeah, it's just part of the game. But like, you have to just accept it, right? Yeah. And then if I still want it and I make the decision that, okay... I'm willing to dish out the extra cash to buy it, then I should be allowed to. Yeah. Someone I, why, bought. why would you punish me for wanting to get your product? Exactly. Someone bought the product from you, Bandai, so who cares? Like you're you're, you're And at the end of the day, all that all that means, right, is now this person who got this invite is either gonna let it go to waste mm-hmm. and you're gonna keep doing this cycle thing, which I don't think that you were ever even got through all of them. No, you kept didn't. resending them out. And yep. that whole process, terrible. Yes it was. Um but it's okay. It was their first try at it. Yeah. Um Obviously, it's not gonna be like the sneaker game. They're, they're, they they're, there's a lot of experience. They're yeah. masters of it. Maybe they need to take some notes from them. Correct. Uh, don't reinvent the wheel, Van Dyke. But yeah, it's just like, man, if I want to go buy it, don't punish me because I like your product. Yeah. And then these people now, there's gonna be a bunch that go to waste. And then all's gonna happen is gonna get it and then sell it. So what's the difference if I pay the money now or later? Yeah. What if I just sent them the money, right? Right. It's, who it's, ca- it's, like, who cares? Yeah. You can't. It's you know what reminds me of, bro? Like people smoking weed. Yeah. Why is that illegal? Yeah. Like, just let people live their life. Bro. It's over policing. That's yeah, exactly. what they say. They're exactly. they over policing something that you. Hey, I'm a straight edge guy saying yeah, that. Yeah, like, Jim, Jim, don't do nothing. I, me? Hey, Amen. <laughs> Catch me up those gummies at every event, man. <laughs> but, you know, it's uh, it's just crazy to me. But, like, maybe they next time they do it, they want to do it. I hope the next one's a really cool one. Like I, Frieza Goku obviously is cool for collectors, not cool for me because I just didn't care about it. Sure. But it'd be dope if it was one of the ones I liked, though. You know, like give me like this Bardock Saint, the new Bardock SCR, the one that's Goddard. Give me that silver. I don't know. I love that SCR. That's so. Uh, the guy uh, so you know, sells it. Oh, silver. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, <laughs> sell Max silver. I can see that. Or Gohan B silver. You know, people love those two characters. All so. right, before we wrap this segment up, I want to hear your favorite memory. We've got to keep it kind of short because we need to get to the game. This is already going a little long. Um, but I want to hear your favorite memory from this year. Favorite, uh, favorite memory. My favorite memory from this year mm-hmm. is... Damn, that's crazy. That would be DBS or DBS event related. DBS related. It can, be, it, can be, it can be something with the homies. Just DBS related. Favorite thing. Try to keep your story like... Oh, uh, just Gen Con Indie Strip Club. Brad Brass Pink Flamingo, baby. Meet me there. <laughs> Bro, everyone, not, not, not very funny. It was all the Cross World Boys. It was my boy Joshua Sanchez. Kim Williams was there. It was a lot. Rishi Kaduri was there. Bro, it's we like 35 people deep at a strip club Dragon Ball players. <laughs> Dog, like, yeah, girls shaking ass while talking about Dragon Ball plays. <laughs> you know, like, you're like, you hear about Goku? <laughs> Remember, I'm getting a lap dance from this girl. I'm talking about like, Eric beating shot with Black Sin. I had it one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, I was, I'm sitting here. The girl got on SBR. <laughs> girl <laughs> dancing, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, man, I was never being cared, bro. Like, I'm like, just, I was like, it was over. I was dead, bro. He pulled out Black Sin leader. I said, the pino he does the first two turns. I don't know if I won or lost. <laughs> and she just shaking her ass. I smell all his ass cheeks everywhere. It's a great oh, time. My God. God. And I'm like, yeah, this is broken. <laughs> All right, Trevor. <laughs> uh, for me, I had, um, well, I have two, two different ones. Okay. One, um, the one was uh, Philly for me. That's when I made, like, my true in-person talk. Yeah, it got sauced by nice. Joe on stream. And, I mean, don't talk about that. All right. <laughs> I, think, I think it's awesome. I was like, damn, turn three. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, um, that was a big accomplishment for me. And um, then, second was just um, doing the whole Nats experience. Mm-hmm. It was my first time going to Nats, and um, uh, just seeing the like the team, people, everybody. Yeah. You know. Try to ever come out and party with the boys, but <laughs> that'll change this Gen Con. Boy, I'm going to Gen Con this time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's yours, Jim? Uh, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I got 
I got two. I got one DBS related, one non DBS. So I'll do one of each. Non DBS related, the whole Nat experience, phenomenal. Mm. Hanging out with the homies. Oh, yeah. Specifically, watching Armando become an American. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that picture of Armando with the AK 47. <laughs> we're, we're at Jerry's house, and Armando's like, Jerry, do you have a gun? <laughs> he's, like, Jerry's, he's like, can I hold it? <laughs> and that's what Armando got in <laughs> Jerry pulls out a fucking assault rifle, bro. <laughs> and then Armando takes the gun and he's like, don't point it at you. Don't point at anybody. This motherfucker turns it across the whole room. It. Bro, I jumped over the couch. Kyle, I was like, oh my God, we're all gonna die. This Canadian is just gonna kill everybody. And bro, <laughs> we're like, Armando, take your fucking finger off the trigger, bro. <laughs> the first rule of a gun. Hey, so bro. then Chesco and uh, Jerry are there, like, coaching him on how to hold the gun. And bro, this man's pearly whites, dude. Yeah, so, yeah. I've never seen someone happier in my life. Bro, he, I heard that he was going to sell his law firm and come to America. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. I don't know how factual that is, but that's something I literally heard. They were like, yeah, man, he's selling the law firm and he's just... Oh, he said it straight to America, first chance he gets. But the whole whole trip was great, uh, other than me being sick for by 50% of the time, that's besides the point. Uh, DBS related, uh, me and Nick made it to the finals in yeah. the regional. And, uh, bro, we had a really, we had such a fun game. Afterwards, Nick was like, that might be the most fun game of Dragon Ball I've ever had. He's like, that was one of the best games I had. I was like, yeah, bro, that, that like... It was crazy because we we play against each other. We played against each other a lot. Yeah. Like we knew what we were playing. Uh, he relatively knew the cards I was playing. I relatively knew like his list, and like we're just playing around so many things at the same time. Yeah. And like I know I can feel him doing it. Yeah. So then I'm trying to play around him playing around me. Mm-hmm. And like bro, I don't know. You just you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know, those, like, exactly talking about. Spirals. Yeah. That 40 yeah, chess. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah. Bro, it's so fun. And like man, what a game that. That game was so fun. That whole event was fun. So that, those were my two two favorite moments. But we're going to wrap this up because we have a game to play. All right, all right. Before we get to the game, I do want to announce uh, Herba Style uh, is now partnered up with Alpha Clash TCG. Mm-hmm. If that? you have not heard, good, good question, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alpha Clash, is a, so it's a Kickstarter TCG. Okay. Um, it is a new trading card game that's up and coming. You can back it right now on Kickstarter. The Kickstarter is almost over. We're running a couple giveaways for it, uh, but it looks really dope. So it's it's like a superhuman kind of thing. Uh-huh. Um, and it's almost as if Magic and Dragon Ball had a baby. Oh, okay. Um, so there's like a lot of elements of both that you can pull from it, but gameplay looks really good. They're doing a lot of things with organized play. Uh, they're getting the collectors involved, um, and they're all like really dedicated to making the, the game good um and they're doing they're so involved with it it's really nice to see a kickstarter that isn't a cash grab yeah because you see a lot of these TCs oh yeah okay so they're just cash grabs i had some locals that did that yeah so this this looks really nice and the backing on it is huge yeah. already i think the kickstarter is already over 400 grand Damn. to get this going Damn. so they got they got a huge backing this so they got a lot of stuff going for it it looks really fun we're hoping to be involved with organized play for it and kind of get it going. Uh, if you are interested in backing it, you can check them out. I'll put their link in all the show notes. And um, yeah, you can join the giveaway. Uh, if you back the Kickstarter, you can send me a screenshot and leave a five-star review for Hermit Style, of course, on Apple Podcasts oh, yeah. or Spotify. Every time. Uh, do those two things. Send me a screenshot. You'll get entered for a giveaway to win a $10 gift card to Hermit Style. You can use a Hermit Style merch or anything on my TCG Player Store or sealed product that I've got. And a month of Patreon. Uh, and I'll send you a pair of my used draws while you're Woo! You want those. <laughs> now, now it's locked and loaded, baby. But, alright, let's. let's <laughs> <in>. <laughs> Tra- Trevor said, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Oh, my. There's some kind of bathroom joke to be made in there. Yeah, there <laughs> um, alright, are you guys ready so for Dear Shenron? I am. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so Dear Shenron. Um, Full disclosure, I stole this idea from a podcast called Disney World is Awesome. Uh, Disney World, very cool podcast, I think. There's three dads that like Disney uh, and the parks, and they're actually hysterical because they're not, they're just like normal ass guys. I don't know. It's it's just like very good dad humor. I, I enjoy it. But anyways, they play this game called Dear Santa. 
So I took that and said, why don't we play Dear Shimma? Yeah, okay. Here's how it works. I read off a letter. It starts with Dear Shimra, that's why it has the name. And the letter is written as if it was a specific leader slash deck from Dragon Ball writing a letter to Shemron asking for a wish. Well, that's cool. So with that, within like the whole context of their letter, there will be clues as to what leader slash deck it may be. Okay. okay. You guys will have to decide together what you think that deck or leader is. I'm about to, I'm about to crush this. All right. Because I know all the cards. So, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and listeners, play along. See if you get them. Let me know how yeah. many you got. Let me know if you like this so far. We've been having a blast with this. And I did actually let one patron, I got a few different um, submissions. Mm. They wrote one. So one okay. of them is actually their submission as well. Um, and I also used one that everyone got wrong so far. No one has gotten this one I'll get it right. right. Don't you worry. Let me know which one it is. I'll make sure I get that one right. I'll, 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 I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to... I'll just say no one got it right. But if I'm wrong, y'all can correct me. I'm pretty sure no one's gotten this one right yet. This one right here? Coming up? No, no, no. Not yeah. coming up yet. But um, any questions about the game? Please I got it. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Gotta get my reading voice going. Oh, yeah. Dear Shenron, it's been a while. Lately, I feel like everyone's forgotten me. Well, I guess I'd want to forget if I paid that much, too. But all I want is to try again. We can even tone it down this time. Maybe with a new color combination? That's not so much to ask, is it? Well, thanks for listening. Sincerely. New color combination mean more than, more than one color. So that's got to be... Let's say pay for something. Yeah, so hold on. There's Search Coup, Invoker. I'll do one search reread cell. if you would like. Uh, search Cell. Kefla. Red Broly. Red Green Broly. Red's five. Gotta be one of them. Do you agree, Trevor? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Which one of them has a pay effect? <coughs> Another pay on the front side. Uh, no pay on the back side either, but I'm gonna go with Boker because all the other decks don't really make you pay anything. Yeah. Is Boker? Final answer? Yeah. Both of you agree? Both. Trevor, you agree? Yeah. You guys got it. Yeah. All right. Honestly, for that one, I would have accepted. This one was the easiest one to get you guys started. I would have accepted yeah. three different answers on this one. Okay. So this one could have been Search, Goku, Search, Piccolo, or Invoker. Okay. The pay too much part was how expensive the deck was. Okay. Then the color combination part, and then it's been a while. It's been a while for Invoker, Goku, and yep. Piccolo, but they were all top decks. They were all the best decks. So a- any of those three would have okay. worked. So that, that was the easy one to get everyone started. Oh, yeah. Um, break you in. Now now we get a little bit harder. They'll, they'll get a little bit harder as we go forward, uh, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to get my Batman on here. Here we understand. go. All right, here's number two. Dear Shenron. These low-class fools have held me down for far too long. Remember the beginning? It was me on top. It didn't blue matter Vegeta, what Kirby color Vegeta. combination. Blue well, maybe not yellow. But regardless, I was going to kill you. Turn two? No problem. But what do I get? Nothing. Meanwhile, that fool Kakarot gets support time and time again. I'll only say this once, Dragon. Give me a full reboot and a Z leader. I demand it. Sincerely. Blue Crit Vegeta. What'd you say? The Blue Crit Vegeta. You gotta talk to the mic. The Blue Crit Vegeta. Trevor, do you agree? Blue Crit Vegeta. Yeah, the, oh, the, the broken one. one. The one sub with Giancarlo. One, everyone playing card. The deck was nasty. Literally, turn one, you could play, you could play a mono blue, blue red, blue green. You couldn't play a yellow because yellow wasn't a color in the first two sets that was fake unless you were playing Ginyu or Oh, Frieza. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're talking about set one? I don't know the set. Oh, it's, it's the blue. It's one? the blue Vegeta that won events. Yeah, okay. It's a crit Vegeta. Yeah. Set one. Vegeta. You guys got it. Two yeah. for two. two for I knew it was that the moment he <laughs> said. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. You got you got that quick. Yeah. All right. Well, he was talking during the middle of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta wait. You gotta wait for the whole. I'll wait, but I know it though. I you gotta that. wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
here is the uh, here's the next one. Um, <laughs> all right, are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is the one that I think everyone has missed. All right, here we go. Dear Shenron, look, I just want to exist again. Yeah, maybe no one plays you anymore, but at least they got to play you across multiple formats. It's been long enough. I'm ready to be back. Can we make it happen? Actually, why well, I'm even asking for your permission. I'll deem it so after my peas and carrots. Sincerely. This is a hard one. If you need to reread, let me know. Yeah, reread that. Okay. <clears throat> and I will give, the only hint that I'll give, that I've given everyone, is the more you know about Dragon Ball Super, the show, the more it will help you. Okay. Dear Shenron, look, I just want to exist again. Yeah, maybe no one plays you anymore, but at least they got to play you across multiple formats. It's been long enough. I'm ready to be back. Can we make it happen? Actually, why am I even asking for your permission? I'll deem it so myself after my peas and carrots. Sincerely. Damn. <laughs> it's, it's like two possibles, and that's crazy. Oh my god, Super Shinra is a boss. It's one of them. <laughs> it's one of them. I just don't. It's tough. What do you think, Trevor? You think it's one of those? You think it's something else, Trevor? Because <laughs> right, he, he's talking like he can just do it whenever. Like, why am I even asking you when I can just do it myself? Yeah. So he has to have some type of great power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This heavy super shit about Zamasu. <laughs> that was, that's tripping me out. <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. I know something uh -oh. about the piece uh -oh. of Bro Broken. Broken TCG, it's coming. Someone said that. Like you said on the show. <laughs> because. I think I know. <laughs> The listeners are any any listeners of Dragon Ball Super fan, they're pissed. They're like, oh my I know, God. wait, I think it's gonna Someone says peace and carrots. <laughs> like it has a chant, right? No, I can't I can't help you. So instead of like please and thank you, they say I think they say peace and carrots. Or I could be just totally wrong. <laughs> Amen. I'm gonna go what do you wanna go with? I mean, we can go with somebody else if it's not the monster Super Shinron. I'm trying to think of like a band leader, too. No, I don't think it's band leader. It, it, There's like very few band leaders. Well, this is a tough one. This is actually this is actually tough. I need an answer. Um, all right. Super Shinron. Zabasu. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Zabasu's fine. Which one do you want to go with? I'll go with Zabasu. Talk, talk it out between each other. No, we'll go with Zabasu. No! <laughs> going with Super Shinron. Super Shinron. I need, I need to know if this is a final Super answer. Super Shinron. Because... I'll give you three seconds to make wait, sure. Wait, wait, because... Is Super Shinron like... Yes. Super okay. Shinron. You guys got it. Yeah. It's yeah, Super, Super Shinron. Shinron. <laughs> because the chant... What are the chants of the to show? To summon him. To summon him. And it's in and carrots. Mm -hmm. Well, I got it because it's just... I don't know. Because Super Shinron was broken. Right? Yeah. Got nerfed immediately. Yeah. Very irrelevant. Just know I said Super Shinron super early. I like, <laughs> yeah. You did. You did, you did say Super Shinron. He's the I was like, yo. <laughs> I heard you that. You know what's funny is on the, on the, I think it was on the live stream. Is it, I don't know. It was the live stream or the Patreon podcast. They were thinking it was Purunga Veggies. Because uh, Peas and Carrots. Yeah, like no. I, but I, your, train, your train of thought was, was on point. Yeah, because when the Super Shinron came. Then, yeah. 
Uh-huh. And the only reason I thought it was a Masu is because he said, bring me back. And I was like, maybe because that motherfucker got my food put into it. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, maybe it's that, but nah. Just... I remember actually watching that episode. That's like at the end of um, the, the Masu arc. The, no, the, the team arc. Um, Universal Survivor. Is it? Yeah. Because that's when he summoned Super Shenron. And, uh, I'm pretty sure they say peas and carrots in the Zamasu arc though too. Yeah. It's oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this one is a uh, patron submitted one. Uh, this was submitted by Getem. Okay, oh, boy. All right. Say it. Here we go. Dear Shenron, look, I got it all: a floodgate, a counterplay, unison interaction, beautiful looking archetype cards. But we both know I need more to function this format. You throwing Z leaders around? Why not toss one my way? I know I'm from another time or universe, but you don't discriminate. You don't discriminate like that, do you? Sincerely. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Got it all. This is a hard one. This, I'll say this. This one is pretty hard. I right, say it again one more time. Uh huh. Dear Shenron, look, I got it all. A floodgate, a counterplay, unison interaction, beautiful looking archetype cards. But we both know I need more to function this format. You throwing Z leaders around? Why not toss one my way? I know I'm from another time or universe, but you don't discriminate like that, do you? Sincerely. The problem here is I run through all the counterplays, all the floodgates. Time universe. The one person I think does that is Goku Black and someone else, right? They are from different times of the universe, right? But they don't have a counterplay and a floodgate though. It was written before Gossip a bit. Hmm? It was written before Gossip a bit. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, actually. They said interaction for a unison. Interaction for a unison is crazy. Because there's actually very few decks that can interact with unisons. So, who's from a different brand universe that can interact That with? first line is the biggest hint. I will say that. You got everything? There's, there's, uh... That, along with one other keyword in that sentence, is probably the, the biggest giveaway. I'll read that sentence one more yeah, time. This is a really hard one. Look, I got it all. A floodgate, a counterplay, unison interaction, beautiful looking archetype cards. That was the first line. Beautiful looking archetype cards. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. What a game. <laughs> this is a wild sound deck, bro. What deck is this? Because you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you got some beautiful cards. This is my son my LCQ. <laughs> uh, fuck. Said, come on, man. What are you doing to me? Oh, my God. I know what it is. It's a U6 leader. It's. Who's got the beautiful archetype cards in U6? It's gotta be Kaba, right? Because the Kale deck is sus. You gotta remember the whole thing now. Time, time and space. It's Kale. It's Kale. Kale. Trevor's looking at you funny, I don't know. Kale. What's the reason for Kale? Kale has a floodgate and counterplay and beautiful art type cards. It's Kale. It's a universe. Sure, Kale. Okay. I will say that's a really good answer. So I feel like I should almost give it to you because they are from another universe. It meets all the requirements of this listing. So it is not the answer. That's crazy. What the fuck is the answer? But the answer is SS4 Bardock. Because you got all, all those archetype cards, they do it. They have oh, yeah, prismatic yeah. burst. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, said so you gotta write that better, bro. Because it's actually Kale, bro. That's got that's got. I'll I'll give you Kale though, because Kale Kale 
did work equally as well. Yeah, Kel uh, really has all the Kel listeners. Had, listeners, if you thought Kel or S for Bardock, I'll give yeah, it. Yeah, because Kel's got two. <laughs> Kel's like, got two plugins. One is shit, but the other one is disgusting. All right, let's keep it moving. I've got uh, I've got two more. Dear Shemron, I used that stupid monkey better than all these imposters. I got to sit back and watch until it was time to end it all in one blow. I never even had to deal with damage. Now, I'm unplayable. Not even a consideration. What an embarrassment to the game. Give me support and reward the most dedicated pilots. Just give me a way to cheat the damn monkey out. I enjoy using him as my puppet anyway. Also, ban the fuga while you're at it. Sincerely. Monkey. What monkey card? Bro, there's not very monkey cards. In the game. Alright, because that's misleading. I used that stupid monkey. That's free. Doesn't necessarily mean the card itself is an ape. Oh. This is a reference. Man, that's tough. Uh, I can repeat it again if you need to. Man, yeah, repeat that. Yeah. Alright, there's one huge giveaway that you, if you hear it, you will know it. Okay, I'm looking. Dear Shen, I use that stupid monkey better than all these imposters. I got to sit back and watch until it was time to end it all in one blow. I never even had to deal with damage. Now, I'm unplayable. Not even a consideration. What an embarrassment to the game. Give me support and reward the most dedicated pilots. Just give me a way to cheat the damn monkey out. I enjoy using him as my puppet. Also, ban the fuga while you're at it. It's you said Sincerely. Freeza. You said free. Yeah, because that's when you played uh, Vision Strike. Vision Strike, yeah. Wait, did, wait. Did you use that freeze. Did you use freeze doesn't does that to attack at all. Did you use that freeze. Disagree? Sure. Yeah. You said freeze it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. That was an old one, though. Yeah. But I was like, I was like, man, you know I was getting too technical with <laughs> the damage because technically you are dealing with damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but no, it's, it's like, he said, I don't do that. You said freeze it never does right. damage. Right. You said it never has to. It sits that, there. That was the big deal. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. yeah. Wait, well, it didn't say stupid monkey though. Well, I said mine is like a monkey card, but yeah. Saiyans are That's why I was like, I didn't want you to think it was an ape thing. Yeah. I, had to I was like, clarify. it's a monkey talking shit. What monkey? Yeah. <laughs> I almost thought I said, bro, you talking about a red baby? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah. I think it's like you some type of bird deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I said, once, it, once he said that it wasn't a monkey, I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure you said a freeze. I just need to hear the last part. Not deal with damage, definitely you said a freeze. Only that that wins, not deal with damage. All right. We've got the last one. Okay. These are all these are all new ones, by the way, except for the one that no one else got. Okay. I didn't want to do the same ones that yeah. we've been doing. Um, but by the way, if you guys like this, uh, if you're enjoying this, cool. feel free to. Cool. Yeah. It's a cool segment. You should probably do this once a month. I try to come up with different games like this. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and do like once a month, do like a podcast. Maybe not this one specifically, but yeah. different, different kinds of uh, games. But yeah, listeners, if you're into this like this kind of stuff, um, feel free to check out the Patreon. We do a monthly live stream, monthly. Uh, podcast which actually i know we haven't done this public podcast in a long time but there has been a podcast actually every month for the past year so if uh you know you're enjoying this type of thing you're liking it feel free to check it out we got a private discord you know your play testing in uh and then we do articles we do usually about four articles a month we do a video every month uh, it's pretty cool so feel free to check it out but anyways last one dear shenron it is strength i seek I once felt unstoppable. I'm always guaranteed three more turns. And, well, I know it. that makes things easy. I'll keep this short. I'm a man of few words. Give me my yellow SCR. It's time. Sincerely. It's yellow gear. Oh, you're about three more because it takes, it takes his life. Yeah, okay. It's yellow gear. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yellow Jiren, you guys got it. <laughs> I had to do that one. Because, yeah. you, you know. That's the mic that Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a big like, podcast. Yeah. Baby. We had a whole chain on Jiren. Mm-hmm. That's my boy. I, had, I, had to, I couldn't think of a way to not give it away. That was good. Me, but that was I was good. like, 
Yeah. Alright. Okay. Give me three more turns. Yeah. He's like, what? So how do you get three more turns? I said, like, in this beer, it's like three weeks in my head. That is three more turns. That might be the better answer, I don't know. <laughs> At this point in the format, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well thank you guys for playing. Yeah, that was I hope you one. enjoyed your yeah, show, Ron. Cool. Cool. I'm yeah. glad I was able to get the one that nobody got. I was like, yeah, I gotta get this Ah, one. yes, yes. It was a good team effort. That's crazy that though, said That you know, that, that definitely sounds like That was crazy though, because you said it first. You said Super Saiyan or Zamasu. Then you were like Zamasu, and then Trevor was like, "Wait!" <laughs> and I saw, I was like, peas and carrots. He's like, peas and carrots because I'm going to my head. Peas and carrots, peas and carrots. Uh, bro, that's, how is that not kale? That's crazy. Yeah, that one should have been worded not universe. You just said just to said a different uh, Xenoverse. Yeah, that could have gave it away though. I don't know. They would say. Then you should say. You should have said. Uh, you should have referenced the multicolor. Yeah, colors. the multicolor so, like, or the color transformation. Like the yeah, that would have been. Well, I mean, chaos a, a fusion. Because no, 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 well, no. Because it's not like, part. They're right. You I, could have said like the word it. prismatic in it, right? And so like, you would have to really know that that's the prismatic burst archetype. That's fair. Yeah. Because when you say universe, like, bro, there's, there's. That's fair. That's it fair. makes you think the universe cards, and I'm like, bro, that's definitely <laughs> yeah. definitely yeah. All but right. She's got Vados. Cause there's the universe, then there's Xenoverse, and there's yeah. universes with the universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's really tricky. Cause I'm honest, I was also there's the Vado two two drop counterplay that stops card, and then there's the two floodgates. The Kale floodgates as but since the determination is broken, but you have to play it in your shitty ass Kale deck, so that's kind of sus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna do a quick results of training, Monaco's delivery service, wrap it up. Cool. Okay. I want both of you to just tell me one deck you're currently playtesting and the result of the game you played. Mike. I'm playing Beers. I played Trevor. I played into a focus breakthrough. Caught a fat L. <laughs> 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 yeah, I say, yeah, can't, can't play into the counterplays. You gotta play around them. You don't play around them, you lose. I can't, I can't wait to hear Trevor's results now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well, recently, well, proxy out. Damn, I thought Travis would be like, so I played Monty. <laughs> <laughs> I beat his ass in Focus Spring. But uh, I've been playing um, Green Cooler. Okay. Since they uh, show okay. off the new Dash Pack cards. And um, it's still. Alright, it's not my cup of tea because it's a different type of uh, game. It's a more aggro. Then like more yeah, controlled, right? And it's my first time playing cooler. I've never played cooler before, but the dash pack cards interest me. But um, yeah, uh, the deck is cool. Um, uh, still gotta learn how to play it and how everything flows. But yeah, it's what I've been playing. Nice, nice. I've been working on the Gex for this format oh, yeah. and getting extremely frustrated and building. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> so that can I build it and I'm like, hey, I'm you playing enough. that new? Vegeta card, the 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 premium oh, pack promo, card. the premium pack yeah. card, nah. Bro, that card looks cool. It does look cool. I do. I all right. I did build on this with it, and then after I thought about, it, I was like, this isn't good enough. Like, there's so many specific cards you need to hit. I'm just like, ah, it's the card's cool. Uh, it's probably just an SS4 Gogeta deck now, though. No God's sake. Yeah. You're just probably just like trying to. That's get that's where I've got it at right yeah. now. Yeah. It's. I'm back to like more of a controly. Yeah, it's a magic trying to rip their, rip their shit control. apart with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I still don't think it's good enough, but it looks fun. So. All right, let's uh, hop into questions, and then we'll wrap up the first podcast of the year. Already. Okay, uh, we're going to start with a, we got a local homie, Adam. Also oh, that's my boy. Uh, Edge of Repose in the Discord. Um, also shout out to him, man. He's he's been getting a lot better. Yeah, you, you guys. Yeah. He's been he's been grinding. He came to local locals, locals, you know, Discord all the time. He got a really nasty deck. He's gonna play the Zenkai Cup. I hope he takes my tips of changing some cards up, but it's a good strategy, solid. You know, he's also, you know, luckiest guy I know, man. He got one pack the other day at locals because oh. he didn't do well. Opens Gohan Beast. That's a shit. Must be nuts, man. Just 
One pack, get that? Yeah, I won that tournament. <laughs> that turtle, all right. I, won, I won that tournament and I lost that tournament. <laughs> he lost. Nice win. <laughs> it's a stupid SR Broly. Get fucked. I hope people have to be like, oh, bro, that's a sick Broly. <laughs> I was sitting there and, and the vultures came out. They said, hey, you selling, you selling, you yeah. selling. Is it sell? I said, damn, 250 in your pocket on a Sunday, huh? Uh, all right, so he says, what is a realistic card you each would like to see in the next set or two? For example, if you are missing God Ceiling, what would the card look like? Knowing Bandai is shifting away from unisons and that they don't want it to be free. So basically, just what is just a card that you, you want to oh, see? Maybe? There's about to be one energy, Z energy cards. If you have three or four Z energy, probably, right? Mm -hmm. And you pay one energy, you get this counterplay effect. That shit's on its way. Like. Mm -hmm. It just reads like something they would print. They've done it every time. They like you know they just make these waves of cards that yeah, it's like provide a, you for using the new mechanic. I, I, I can see there's like a new iteration of like the gospel and yeah. charismatic. Because free yeah. charismatic is gone. Yeah. Like people who right. enjoy your green deck right now with it, you have, you got it for four months. <laughs> it's gone. Trust me, it's 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 not fair to have that card knowing Yamcha's at one gospel. I think they're all just gonna get banned. Yeah. Except for Vegeta, the yellow one, because who cares? Mm -hmm. like, what about you, Trev? Um, a new type of mm. just a new card. There's a new card you'd like to see for one of your decks right now. Uh, I'd like to see. Huh. It's hard. This is hard to think of on the spot. I'm actually yeah. Well, I'm excited for the new Goku Black uh, Ultimate deck. So some type of support. Uh, that, I forgot that's coming. Yeah. yeah. So um, some something broken. <laughs> so I, I play all the ultimate decks because mm. I'm playing sub currently. But yeah, some and Goku Black is actually one of my favorite players too. So I don't know. Uh, some is really good for that deck. I want Vigex support. I want. I want a new bro. I want a new card to play when I mill it. Wait, wait. That's I'm what hard. I want. Well, that'd be sick. I want a new card to play when I mill it. So we got a blocker, right? We got combo. We got an attacker. So we got blocker, combo, attacker. Uh, for one. We never got a unison that plays itself when he's milled. He did. Go things. Yeah, but like, he suck, sucks. But, yeah, it's just suck, but it's there. I mean, yeah, alright. I, I don't know why I said never. We need a new one. Yeah. So it would be nice to get a new unison that plays itself. Um... I literally, yeah, that's crazy. I forgot, bro, it's been so long since I played Go Tanks. That card's so bad now. That card sucks. I'm playing. Um... So that, that could be cool, but mm, I don't like that answer anymore. <laughs> I want, what would be like a good free play for the kicks? I'm trying to think of like what I would want. It's hard to make it like not cracked, right? Yeah, no, it'd probably be um, uh, 15k attacker, when this card swings, warp one from your hand, draw one. Or discard one from your hand, draw one. Just like a filter. Yeah, but see, also though, with the Gex being more like controlly, maybe it's just like a 5k spot removal. Yeah. Can see that also. So it's like not an attacker. Yeah. And maybe it even has like zero combo power to balance it out since you have free removal. Or maybe you can't combo with this card. Can't combo from the battle area. Yeah, it can't combo from the battle area. Combo so it's just stuck. Hand. Yeah. Combo for your hands. You gotta be able to do that. Right. That could be cool. Yeah, it could be. Something like that. But he did say no free play, so I just completely ignored his rule. Yeah. That's okay. Pay one. <laughs> That's fair, actually. Yeah, if so if you mill it, pay one, yeah. and you get spot removal. Yeah. That could be cool. I don't know. Get, but anyway, my answer is just Vigex support. Give yeah. me, like, real actual Vigex support. Please. Not this dumbass Vegeta. <laughs> Play your six drop Vigex. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Hey, man. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it is not good. I agree. It looks cool, though. Hey, it got me hype enough. I picked my foils back up just to have them because I was like, it might be fun just to reminisce, but probably only for a day. Then I'll be mad, tear it apart. Pretty ass. But what were you gonna say, Trevor? Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure you said from next set. Next set or two, he said. I don't uh, think it was. Well, like I want. Well, I guess I just mention Goku Black, but mm -hmm. I want green Goku Black. So I'm also very tight. That support. Oh, that's a that would be sick. That's a old card. So, yeah. Um, three drops seven drops. Yes, yeah. bro. Yeah. Oh, I love that card. Yeah. Mm. I hate that card. Oh, I love that card. I love playing that card. That's a great player. I'm sorry. I really Apex Predator to come off that list, baby. <laughs> All right, let's hit another question. Then we're going to wrap this up. Um, 
All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, we'll, we'll answer one of Gedim's questions here. Oh, what well he said, back in the building. Mm -hmm. He said, this is just a nice easy question. What are your other hobbies? Ah, playing that Marvel Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel Snap. <laughs> Playing that WoW, yeah, I'm real big on the WoW right now. I do play 2K. You know, I'm on PS5 now, off the Xbox One. But, you know, Congrats. come holler at me. Congrats! <laughs> I'm gonna get that for Christmas. Um, but yeah, really, just like others, like I used, to, I've got off video games, but I'm back on video games, and I think that like I'm feeling a competitive burnout from DBS. I think that's what it really is. Like, I grinded hard for a long time, and like, you do. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling the burnout. Like, I'm like. Even at locals, like I, I feel myself checking out of games. Like I'm playing, yeah. and I'm like mentally checking out. Like, and I, you, where I used to never the the cognitive wheel always spinning. Like, what's the play? Where I'm going with it? Like now I'm just like, fuck it, you got, you got, who cares? I'm just gonna, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm at locals to kick it with the boys, not the yeah. not to play, not to learn yeah. right now. And uh, I hope I get it back. To be honest with you, like, I really like. I don't know. Like, it will. It's, it's just well. broad. It's just it feel. Burnout. How does everybody? Like, Jesus everybody. Christ. Yeah, it does, right? But it never happened to me. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm really good. I'm like, yo. So they announced that first event. You were like, hell yeah. I mean, they announced the Zinkai shit and the LCQ. I'm kind of just like, I'm going to go. He said, hell yeah. I just, I, you know, but that's it. Like, I'm, I'm on the video game tip, though. You know, WoW, big. Hey, you guys play WoW? Yo, you got to get the new Call of Duty, bro. That shit's crazy. The Warzone Ooh. or the actual game? I mean, both. I mean, I can download that Warzone all day. Down, download Warzone. We gotta get on. I'll download it. Right? I got that. You guys do? I've been That's oh, crazy. I, that's crazy because I never got an invite, but. I don't play that. I don't think Trevor. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he said I've been had it. And yeah. then, so I had it by day one. That's crazy. Oh, okay, bro. He's, he just never hit me up. So sorry, bro. They never hit me up either, so yeah. Thank you. You just said you just started playing videos. Yeah, yeah. you right. One, one day we'll be good enough to make it to the broken yeah. call. Trevor, Trevor is good at shooters, though. Yeah, that is that is fair. He probably played he probably played me once in a while. Never again. <laughs> I played more though. Probably me and Dan. <laughs> <laughs> he said I need to get out of here. Hey, my boy Dan is that's my boy, bro. Playing more with Dan is great because he sucks, but he's good. He's just like, yo, this guy sucks. Hey man, that was a good play you made there though, but Dan, Dan is my cousin. Yeah. Um. All right, Trevor. Any um, other hobbies in DBS? Hobbies. I mean. I think. Oh, you know what? You, you know what you're telling me. What happened was? Marvel Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel Snap, baby. <laughs> Granted, I had to take a break, bro. Because at work, that's the most time I play Marvel Snap. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm in my bro, classroom bro, playing Marvel Snap. Bro, the kids are doing their work. I'm snapping. I literally <laughs> had to stop, like, like stop playing for a good two weeks just to calm down. Because I noticed, like, I was. All right, he, was, uh, he was passing car to stay special. Bro, bro, not passing. Bro, all right, I work at uh, at Toyota, right? And I don't be working this on cars. This might be a mistake, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> I work on cars. Bro, I be working. On... <laughs> this might be a really expensive mistake. Bro, I be working on cars that should not be taking this long. Like, <laughs> it's just slow. This should be like. These cars should be like be done in and out like 20, 25 minutes, bro. I'll be on cars for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm savage. Bro, that's just crazy. I'm savage, bro. Like, <laughs> that, and I mean, I mean, still Dragon Ball related. I still like making YouTube content. Yeah, that's yeah, just, yeah. That's just me. Yeah. And if you didn't know, Trevor's got this like, can't, this cam session. I think he's showing the porn and doesn't want to tell us on OnlyFans. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I'd be about it, bro. I'd subscribe. Look, man, that, yeah, that camera. Yeah. It is this camera. This would guy. You, would you subscribe? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm on the stuff. My fans also. That's also why I'm taking. You know, feeling that burnout. I've been getting that yeah. material ready. <laughs> I'm doing deckless and dickless. You know, <laughs> oh my god! This is how you want. <laughs> oh my god. Um. What about you, Jim? What about me? Uh, listen. Well, so actually, I am. I just. I texted Eric the other day, my buddy Eric, who, if you didn't know, Eric wrote the outro to Hermit Style. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Eric's a musical beast. His uh, dad's also broken at gambling. We're, we're starting a band together. Oh, you starting a new band? Yeah, me and Eric are starting a band. So. I like that. Uh, we're, and we're actually going to be practicing at his dad's shop. Okay. Uh, he's got, like, a space in the back mm -hmm. that we can use, so we'll keep all the instruments there. Oh, yeah, his dad's a cool guy, man. Uh, but, yeah, so that, that'll be fun. The quick story, real fast, it'll take, like, 20 seconds. 
his friend Eric, he was friends with him, and I was friends with Eric's dad playing poker. <laughs> and one day, I'm at, with Jim, and Eric shows up, and his dad's like the poker guy that I used to play. That's like crazy. <laughs> Small world, baby. Mm-hmm. Small world. So yeah, if you like the uh, outro, our music will sound nothing like it, but... <laughs> <laughs> No, that was just some like cool acapella shit he did one day. Um, but yeah, and actually, um, yeah, I don't know. It should it should be cool. It should be cool if y'all want to hear Eric's like actual music because you know that, this is like a cool little jingle he made, but. Uh, if you want to hear his actual music, check him out. Eric Stop Music. He's on Instagram. He's all, that's all he does full time. So that's that's just, that's what he does full time is playing music. So cool, cool, cool. pretty excited for that. So yeah, there's there's a hobby from all of us. Um, but I think that will wrap us up, guys. Any any closing notes before we finish this up? I'll see you guys at LCQ. I'll be there. Don't you worry. <laughs> Probably playing that hatch or bears cool. or trunks Jita or Nimble. I don't know. No baby. Fuck, that death's dead. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really dead, but it's dead to me, bro. Like, man. After Nats? After after, after round six fiasco, I don't know, we'll play that game. <laughs> Bad juju. Yeah, it's done. Oh, man. That's sad. I did beat Marquis Stone Swiss. Swiss. Oh. Not, not really Swiss. We, we went to time, and I won game one. Mm-hmm. But it was never close. And that's how it I... Has, it has a good Crimson match. Yeah, that's how I knew my deck match. was broken. I said, damn, this shit won't even close. It's one of the best for the next week. Gamma beats Crimson. Yeah, miss it. Yeah. Trevor, any closing notes? Um, I'm just really excited for the new year. Um, yeah, that's about it, bro. <laughs> how can uh, how can people find you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they can find me on YouTube, Broken TCG, and uh, making weekly content. And uh, you can also find him on World of Warcraft, Dragonflight server. He'll <laughs> <laughs> be that's there. False. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Marvel Snap. Yeah. Look at TCG on Marvel Snap too. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm Kanye East. Oh, let me, bro, <laughs> let, me, let me let me get a feature, bro. I've been, bro. I'm a Marvel Snappian. I'm a Marvel Snappian, bro. Are you getting infinite yet? Huh? Yeah, infinite. I've been infinite every time, bro. That's crazy. This guy Jimmy's actually broken. Let's get, bro. I have not got infinite yet, but That's my collection crazy. is ass, like. I got the worst RNG single. That's what the losers say. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Hear me out. I had to pay $50 to get Wong. Why did you pay for You don't need Wong. No, but that's how bad the collection is, bro. You, you never needed to pay $50 to get Wong. I I would like to pay $50 to get anybody. Bro, That I didn't have Spider-Man, Destroy. I didn't have nothing cool. You'd be like, damn, what is No it? one does it first. Nigga, I'm a... Collection. There's always a deck. I'm at Collection 1850. Yeah, I had decks, but they were ass decks. I played somebody with the real one. I'm like 72, and I'm like, yeah, man. I'm, bro, bro, I'll help you, bro. I'm playing fucking the, I'm playing the card <laughs> deck, bro. I was playing the card deck without death because I didn't have it. I'm playing somebody, and they're like popping off Killmonger on their fucking shits, popping up. And I'm like, you get, this guy has to have death. Turn five, death for free. What the fuck do you mean death for free, bro? Oh, my I don't like, problem, I don't know. Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> like, the only deck that I have all the cards to, and the deck sucks, is the move deck. That's the only one. That deck's ass. You have Patriot? Huh? You have Patriot? I don't have Brood. Huh? You don't need Brood. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You actually... Patriot without Brood is, like, mid as fuck. Because when you play the Patriot player with Brood, you got fucked. No. You have Ultron? No. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, he ain't no Ultron. That's crazy. That is not Ultron. I ain't no Doctor Doom. Yeah, it's not as good as your Ultron build, though. It's not as good. No. I still win. Yeah, but there's people. These people are terrible. I, I'm in the 70s, bro. Every time, sure. But what I'm saying to you is, you hit a point where people. I, I gotta look at your phone after this. Oh, I gotta get to this toilet. I gotta yeah, blow it up yeah, twice. Get to the toilet. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so on that note, <laughs> thank you for listening to the Marvel Snap podcast. Yeah, yes. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for coming on. Uh, you guys can look forward to the next episode, and uh, I've got I've got some. I'm not gonna announce the guests yet. I don't like to announce guests until I record now, but uh, I do have some um, some fun guests coming on the show in the future. So, yeah. Until then, I will see you guys on the next show. You know who we should get up here on this one time? That boy Evan Glover. Huh? Get that boy Evan Glover up here. <laughs>